street. I met him to the deli. So they can cock some meat uh, from my bop bop. Oh yeah, it's my bop bop. Hell yeah, it's my bop 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 it is. Bop and bop, it's my bop bop. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, hey, boys and girls. Hey, 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 wait a minute. What? I didn't do the last chord. Okay. Thank you. One of these days, out of 107 <laughs> episodes, I'll get through the opening sentence, and it'll it'll be magical. But that what was just it? in. Was uh the brand new, new and exclusive, exclusive. Uh, Bop Bop Remix? Has it got a fancy name, not just Remix? Yeah, it's called my Bop Bop Bop. It's got an extra bop. It's so bopping, it's got an extra bop in there. You just add the extra bop. Now, now we've added bop. My Bop Bop is only getting more bopper. Yeah. That's what they say. If you, if you have three times the Bop Bop, you got three times the bop. These are all excellent remixed titles. Don't you have 1.5 times the bop bop? I don't know. No, because every time you add an extra bop, it's what show is this? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the Manga Raiders Community Happy Hour Podcast, episode 108, I think. Ooh, it is 1-8, yes. because 107 was yesterday. No, last week. No, yesterday. yesterday. It was yesterday. We're just filming all of these in, in quick succession now because we're taking all of October off. Sorry, we didn't tell you, but, you know, that's what's going to happen. Today is July 31st, 2016. Oh, did you hear about, you know, Trump going for president? Ha! Who's who's Trump? I think he I don't owns know. the tower. Also, can't wait for Persona 5 to come out in a three months. Ha ha, it will come out in 2020. Ha! Dated jokes. My name is Simon Bellinone's Vacant. Guess who's joining us? Guess. Guan. I don't know who I'm asking to guess. There's no one. No one here. The audience. Audience! Need you... Type your comments into the little comment bar under the YouTube video and tell us who's coming in. It's very simple. Immediately tell us who's coming in. Um, there is, to my left, you've heard him already, with his new sensational fantastic bop bop remix and that is manimal like the peaches of time drip through the hourglass of beaches we're roaming along the high guys it's a man we're here ready to jam and yam and do things like that oh good that's what we wanted not just the jam but the yam part too and yeah, of course. hopefully jamming yamming hamming and bamming it is corin Hi guys, I'm here. Hello. He's uh, here. He's still I'll be here. here. For a few minutes, and then I gotta go run to the oven. But we can keep going. It doesn't matter. Don't do it. Don't end yourself that way. We still love you. Uh, I you. am not gonna end myself by sticking my head in the oven. Jesus. Yeah. What do you even work? A slow end. That's yeah. A bad way to go. It's an awkward way to go. Imagine just you know, well, yeah, how because... you do it. You think you'd on reflex just pop your head out of there. Yeah. yeah. That would sound you'd weird. Be like, you know what? This isn't. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> Actually, I've I've come to the realization that I don't want to do this. Um, but then you'd just be horribly burned up in its fiery belly. I think that I want to eat that chicken after all. Yeah, just eat the chicken. That's better. Uh, and then finally, rounding him out. I don't know how much we're going to hear him because he's uh, I don't know, ill or something. I don't really know. Should have listened more carefully. It's Nairbonds. Wait, I said I wasn't bonds. gonna do it. I'll just keep on listening with mute on. Oh. But otherwise, I oh. probably won't be here. I'm not feeling great. Oh, have a good one. Bye. Oh, sorry. I'm Nair Bonds now. Hi guys, it's Nair Bonds. Y you at home can just know he's sitting there quietly judging us. He is. He he may pop some stuff into the chat from time to time, but he's there. He's just feeling poorly, so this one it's dedicated to you, Nair. Rip just Nair. like the start of the holiday season. Santa's watching. So be good. He you knows. Think about Halloween. It's Christmas time now. <laughs> That's true. Christmas is more important than Halloween. Uh, in my book, at least. Naturally. 
but uh, fucking as of today it is it's october it's halloween month it is officially october 1st i'm getting in the season a little bit this time i noticed this is the time where i like to listen to like uh, iron maiden and megadeth and stuff like that for halloween or christmas no this time is the time for that (laughs) Ah, okay i was gonna say for uh just i love to listen to some megadeth to get in the festive mood nothing gets me that christmas feeling than uh you know and I can't name a single Bacon, Megadeth Bacon song. Bacon, <laughs> Bacon probably thinks Megadeth some death metal band or something. Oh, um, good old Megadeth. I remember them. Sounds like a uh, highly infectious disease. Um, Pretty Meg- Megadeth, Megadeth, Megadeth is, in Megadeth. fact, the world's highest rated polka band. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah no, fact, Megadeth actually refers to Megadeth. It's not like just a normal death. if a dropped, it'd be a Megadeth. That's like a head in the oven style, like death. Megadeth. Oven death. That's the tribute band. Anyway. That, that's... Oh, oh. Go on, sorry. No. No? Okay. No. Were you going to say... Uh, were you going to say what I think you were going to say? No, I was going to say that did you intend what I think you didn't mean. Yeah, I didn't intend what now I think you're going to say. Moving on. Hi, everyone. Hello. Welcome. Enjoy. Come pull up a pew. Have a scone. There's loads left. Shall we have a nice... Shall we change tact? Right, I think the happy hour. We sort of went for a pub, you know, round a table, having a few beers with your friends, aesthetic and tone. Like, that's what we went for, isn't it? Just a few people, a few friends, kicking back and chilling. Shall we do it more formal or, like, more of a book club or something? A bit more oh, high uh, class. Hi, hey, guys. Today I did my reading up to chapter two. Yeah, instead of a happy hour, we could be... Um, the tea. Oh no, there's already been a tea room. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I, I think I think this idea is only going to work as long as I can continue pouring whiskey into whatever I'm drinking. Yeah, uh, it's... Uh, the 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 kids are doing fine. Everybody, my kids are playing soccer now. They're so good. The pub is old news. It's now the alcoholic support group. <laughs> in the words of there. Well, welcome to the local AA. I was going to say the AAA, but there's already a podcast called that. The Anime Addicts Anonymous. Don't mind giving them a free plug. I'm saying free plug as if like they're less famous than us. <laughs> as if they're not very well known. So yeah, just one of the big ones, but you know. I'm going to give a plug to, to the Beatles. Not many people know about them. Nope. Not... No one does. I predict I've never heard of the Beatles. Who are the Beatles? Who's John Lennon? John John Lennon is is an old man. Sounds like a communist. Just a bunch of he, scousers. He is. He was one. He, he he imagined the world. He imagined with, the world once. He he just imagined the world, like literally the world, the globe. He imagined that he came up with the world. Manimal, I speaking of imagining, I am an imagining right now. You did something with your week, and you need to tell me what that is because I cannot yeah, go on with my I, life. I was until actually I do. thinking what I was going to say because I, d- I had something to say. So come to me last because <laughs> I don't remember now. Corin, what did you get up to? In fact, can we just start to say Corin did definitely get up I'm, to something? I'm going to say you guys know exactly what I got <laughs> up to. I feel we got to know Corin a lot more. We had a so, trip inside the mind of Corin. Oh, so did, did we ever? Basically what happened, guys, is that um, I, I worked all week. That was normal. And then on Friday night, I went out, and I got very drunk very quickly. Well, I was drinking for a long time, but I didn't only get drunk at the end when people were buying drinks left and right. And then I wandered out of the bars. And started recording myself on our little messenger thing. You know, like 10 seconds of audio at a time. <laughs> cataloging my trip home. Which it, somehow, listening back to it, felt like it took longer than the entire night previous put together. And it feels like you almost died a few times. It was a trip. It was a journey we went on with you there. It was amazing. Well, I mean, there was a guy offering you drugs. There was... There was. I was... a. I don't want to say accosted. I met a drug dealer, but I was too drunk to buy drugs. I wouldn't say you met him because that makes it sound like it was a prearranged, uh, prearranged yeah. meetup. I, I was I was sitting on a street corner waiting for my Uber to show up, and the dude comes up to me and says some very street lingo sounding stuff, which I could only parse. 
but it definitely meant I'm going to sell you drugs if you want to buy drugs. Mm, I've never been approached by a drug dealer, so I wouldn't I wouldn't trust them. I wouldn't I wouldn't know I, what they it were selling. Wasn't feeling like a trustworthy kind of thing either. Trust me. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is on the audio log. The that you can hear the guy in the background. The there was you on a paving <laughs> yeah, stone. I, I, I nonchalantly pressed the record button while he was giving me his speech. Yeah, like, I, I've never got I've never gotten the elevator speech from a drug dealer before. <laughs> I um yeah, that's that weird. Imagine if he'd seen that you were recording. Maybe you'd think you were a knock. Like, yeah. I, I was on my phone as he was walking up to me. Fair enough. I think he knew I because I didn't like have my phone like up to him, you know, in like the classic "I'm a reporter" stance. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, would I just like it. to see it better. It was, it was like in my hand, hanging between my legs, basically, as I was sitting there. Yeah, you know, very natural position for a phone to be in. Just, just monologuing. Just, we had a journey with Corin. I mean, I'll be honest. I woke up and I saw like sixty-seven messages on my phone, <laughs> and I was like, "What the fuck has got like either one of them have died or something big's happened?" And it turned out just to be the uh, something the big Corin. Yeah, the Corin Chronicles. It was amazing. And even a, a cameo from Sher Mr. Sherbert Lemon, who, due to time zones, was at, was home safe and sound, but recovering from a hangover. While you were, so he'd woken up from the night after, night before, rather, and you were still there. You were in the height of it. Yeah, I was, I was like, still flying. And there was barf all over my apartment. <laughs> but I, I just learned to deal with it after a while. <laughs> Thank you there, Corin, for the for the input there. I'm glad the assist. No problem. Yeah, we uh we missed Sherbert. Hopefully he'll come back to us. Uh, I'd was... love for Sherbert to come back, but he'll do what he does. It was nice to hear his voice again. Even if it was just lost for the sands of time on a little voice recording machiney thing I'm above. Yeah. So lately at work we got the new air conditioner, <laughs> so the office has been really cool, and I've been listening to to the Barry Goldman's Call of Moogie on VanCamp.com. Nice plug. Not as great as Always a Critic, but, you know, almost. Yeah, because Always a Critic is over. That was eight albums ago. Sorry. It was an effective marketing campaign, what can I say? Yeah, I still remember because it. Because it's my best album title. You can't make a better album title than freaking Always a Critic. You can uh, like not even like, flat as Manitoba, like not even a, a competitor. If you had named the album My Bot Bop, that would have absolutely crushed Always a Critic. For the record, I put My Bot Bop on an EP and not even a real album. How are you going to do us like that? You motherfucker. Yeah. You just got to re release it as your new hot single. Yeah, you've yeah, got they... the remix now. Yeah, I got My Bop Bop Bop. And then you can tell everyone to check out the original, and then, you know, that'll surge. Surely there's some remixes that far exceeded the popularity of the original. Absolutely. Oh, oh yes, yeah. I can't think of one on the top of my head, but yeah, definitely. <laughs> <It's> definitely <laughs> no, it's definitely something like that's happened, but see, now I can. I mean, unless you count, like, things where artists, like, take samples, like, uh, you spin me round and round, that one that Kesha was on later. Yeah, yeah but there's, like, a billion versions of that song. I still yeah. like the Pirate Man 5000 version best. Be totally uh, honest. I don't know that one, but yeah. So how was the rest of your week? That, that's basically it, man. I got real uh, drunk Friday. I had a bit of a conversation with Sherbert, in a manner of speaking, and uh, now I'm here. Because we're not recording this on Monday as per usual, which is nice. <laughs> sure aren't. I'm just laughing. Uh, sorry. Ness suggested that you put Pitbull in the Bot Bot remix. Welcome to, welcome to episode 108, in which vacant laughs at things Nair says. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm a human fucking being. I read, <laughs> yeah. and I laugh. I react. I can't help it. My yes, week was... I don't know. Pretty shit. Well, it's not shit. It was just nothing went on, other than work. Pretty boring. Finally, I've, you know, sort it, of decorating. I mean, were, you weren't murdered when you couldn't get the football game on. I wasn't, no. Oh yeah, that was a thing I forgot. I uh, I was not a popular boy in the office uh, yesterday, unfortunately, because the Manchester City and Chelsea game, big game that was, probably the biggest of the week, well yeah, easily the biggest of the weekend, 
there was a few fans in the office who really, really wanted to watch it. So we have uh, we have a, a weird setup in the office. So there's multiple TVs all across the office. They're all connected to Sky, which is obviously a cable service. But we have two Sky boxes, one that has Sky Sports, one that has BT Sports. Don't ask why. We just have two. So you have to switch the TVs over to receive, you know, to receive the frequency from each skybox, if that makes sense. You ba- you have to get, like, this other remote and switch them over. So okay. in the process of doing that, didn't work for me. They said just press the number three. So I've got this little remote pressing three like a motherfucker. Ain't working. It's not working. So I thought I'd press a couple more buttons. Nothing. So the power button, I thought, I know, this motherfucker's not switched on. This is what's going to happen. Power button, every single TV goes off. I was like, ah, well, that couldn't have been me. That must have been a coincidence because, you know, surely it can't reach to the other end of the office. Everyone starts looking around. I lower that remote quick as a motherfucker, hopefully that's no one saw that it was me who was pointing it at the TV. Press the power button again, thinking that this will solve it. I've turned everything off, but I'll turn it back on. It'll be fine. Nope. No idea what's happened. The, we probably could have fixed it, but the issue is the skybox is hidden away in the server room, and very few people have access to the server room because you need a key card to get in. And every single one of those people who are, have access only work weekdays. No one was in to do it on the weekend, so they had to do without any TV all night. And there was just the panic of everyone looking around. And then, do you know you can hear your name being mentioned, like from oh. far off? And it's like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. And then people are messaging. Yeah, I start getting messages on like my computer, and it's like, uh, what's happening? What's going on? Why has the game gone off? What's going on with the game? Why have you turned it off? What's going on? I don't know. Let's quickly pass that off to someone else, and then they dealt with it. And no, uh, and that's how you destroy a civilization. It was amazing. Just here, I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to get lynched. Now, this, is, this is it. Could these people not just look it up online? You can, but or... you can't watch it. So, you know. What do you mean you can't watch it? Like, you can't really watch it online. You're not, um, I mean, I guess you could if you had a BT subscription. It's, you can it's, be like most well, hockey fans where they just we look can't, at the scores. You're not allowed to watch the any illegal streams, basically, is the thing. It's probably a policy in most places, don't watch illegal streams. Uh, yeah, probably. To... I'm thinking back to when I was in senior project, my friends and I were spending all day, every day in the computer lab. We would find, like, obscure Chinese websites. Yeah, that would host our football games, and I don't know why obscure Chinese websites were doing this, but they were. Yeah, like it's really, really easy to find like an illegal stream of football, like you know, if you want to see it. But it it's because it's only on the paid TV services, so not everyone has BT or not everyone has Sky. Uh, it's just cable TV, basically. Not every single person has it. So, um, and all the logins, they're really shit as well. Like you can only log into like two devices and have two devices registered. So obviously I've got my laptop at home, and then I can only have one PC, and we hot desk, so we move around, so I can't even have it logged into one of mine at work, so it's shit. But anyway, I'm still alive. Everyone forgave me. I did a brew round. That's the way to win over people. Give them coffee or tea. You know, I'm not racist. I don't know if that's... I'm not teaist. You're, but... you're not beverage, hot beverage. Yes. I hope you don't judge people too harshly on whether or not they like coffee or tea. I do. I judge them so hard. I'm like, if I judge you by the color of your tea. I'm like, if you have it too white, if you if you're that milky boy, then I'm, I'm sorry, I can't be friends with you. But back the fuck down if you have milk too much milk in your tea. Yeah, that's how it works. That's get how it right. is. Just like get it right or don't get it at all. Skin color, don't care. Tea color, you motherfucker. You better treat that shit with respect and rev- reverence. I was going to say green reverence. tea only. Nah, I thought, nah, no green tea. Wow, it looks like we can't do the show together anymore. What, am I gay? I don't know, are you? You tell me. Maybe, a little bit. We'll see. I've been drinking a lovely tea called Passion. That's, okay, you, I'll take it. <laughs> it's I'll take it's like back. passion, it has like passion fruit and like rose hips and shit. Tea with, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. I like passion fruit, and I like tea, but Remember, I don't know Remember, I can't together. drink traditional tea. Oh, yes, that's right. Oh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. In that case, we'll give you a pass, then. You're okay. Uh, other than that, what else have I been doing? I've been reading a survival horror novel called Everything Dies. If you guys remember me mentioning it a few months back, 
I've actually yeah, got further actually. than chapter one uh, now, so I'm reading that. So that's quite fun, because it's getting into Halloween, so I'm trying to get into the uh, spooky, scary shiz. Didn't get Danganronpa. I'm not going to get that for another two months now, because I've just got a lot of shit to play, namely FIFA. I know that doesn't interest anyone, but that'll be a nice thing to round out the end of the year. Other than that, uh, what have we been watching? Uh, anime still, so I'll leave that for later. But yeah, that's me. Nothing cool. interesting. As for me, I thought I had things to say, but now I can't think of them. So, <laughs> wow, nothing happened. There was no cut. Anyways, yes, my week, it was a thing. I did things. Welcome to the brand new segment called I, I'm, a, I'm a Restaurant Snob because I've been to three restaurants recently. Uh, today, I'll review the Polish restaurant. It was amazing. It was so good. We got like this little Polish place, you know. You walk in there, they're playing Europop from the 90s, small location, pictures of the homeland everywhere. Freaking the owner looks like Putin, and he's like the nicest guy you've ever met at a restaurant, you know? Then he freaking, when he goes to refill your water, he just put, he just dumps a water bottle in there. Classic poles. And- you say that. <laughs> Sorry to like interrupt the review, but... Is that a thing? Is that a classic Polish move of using I don't bottled know. water? My, I mean, okay. what is the quality of drinking water in Poland? I don't I'm sure know. It's see, fine. My thing, my thing, I've only you had two that. encounters with Polish, with people from Poland. And one would be that guy and the other time at the Polish community center. And both of them oh, were yeah. kind of like, kind of like they're really resourceful, but cheap, you know? Okay. Fair that enough. kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, like, a lot of the stuff at the Polish Community Center is, like, really old, but they really know how to repurpose it and make things work. Like, I'll tell more more stories on the 12 Days of Christmas stuff. Day day one, Polish Community Center. I don't know what the catchy title for it would be, but... I don't know either. Polish... But anyways, it was, like, the food was amazing. Like, oh, the sausage is out of this world. The best freaking pierogies. You know, I've had a lot of pierogies. I'm not going to diss the pierogies by my Italian grandma, but they're they're just not as good as a as a true pole. I think pierogies. pierogies get more delicious the farther east you go in Europe. That's um, probably why, yeah, because they're freaking great. What's a pierogi? Pierogi is kind of like um, uh, what's the outside made out of? I'm it's kind of like a flower and like I'm trying not to think. What soft is, it? Mold. is it a pastry? No. It has like potatoes and stuff inside, or meat. Is it a pie? Is it a it, meat and potato of, pie? It's sort of like a dumpling. Okay. Most. All right. With okay. Like meat and potatoes in it. It's not like. It's sort of a similar setup to a beer rock, but you know, not as bready. Again, more dumpling like. Right. Okay. Yeah, and they're really great. And okay, so this is what really got me pissed off with fast food. Right. I'm not like a big fast food eater. Mm-hmm. But when I went to Wendy's with my friends and I got a double order of chicken strips and a medium drink, it was seventeen dollars for chick six chicken strips and a medium drink was seventeen dollars. Is that and this fake Canadian dollars or real American money? Yeah, it is money. fake Canadian dollars, but that okay. still sounds heavy compared yeah, to. Yeah, and this is made by people who don't give a shit about what they're doing. So that's what I've been thinking. I'm like, why am I going to these places like Wendy's and A&W? Nobody here is like a real cook. No one here actually cares about what they're doing. <laughs> Whereas when you go to a restaurant, it's made by people who do that for a living and actually care and are just some like high school or college students just getting by, hating their life, you know? Yeah. And I mean, for, for a cheaper price, you can get a nice pancake lunch at the finish place. You know, but fast $14. food is quicker. That's the point. It's fast food. Well, it's I'm all right with cheerful. waiting for, for a little bit and just sitting there and, and stuff, you know? Fast food is good when you need it to be fast or you need it to be late at night or you, like, want to take it home with you. Yeah. I I guess that's true, but I'm I'm sick of that shit right now. I'm going to try to avoid it as much as I can. Take a stand against that fast food. Uh, absolutely, because I'm, I'm sick of having gross Subway sandwiches where they just don't make them good at all and don't care at all, you know? Then you go to these, you go to this nice place, this, this nice Polish restaurant. They make you freaking amazing food. And then he's like, do you want to try the cheesecake? It's our family's recipe. And I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> he, he sold that to you. That's a, He's upselling you shit. That, 
that's literally what he said. And I was like, yeah, I'll have that. And it was yeah. good. And I'm like, I like these people. I want to give them more money. I mean, the problem with restaurants also tend to be a little more expensive. That's, well, compared to Wendy's in this case, I was going to say, it, <laughs> apparently in Canada, that's flipped. Yeah, but like, apparently <laughs> Canada Wendy's is super pricey for some good Six wow. chicken strips. <laughs> like, the chicken strips are $6 for three. Are they like a fillet? Like each or they're, something? They're not even that big. <laughs> they're not even filling at all. It's ridiculous. That sounds. That does sound ridiculous. Are you sure they didn't double charge you or something like that? Surely. I just. It's, I'm struggling no. to realize. Like to. No. Oh, hold on. I'm going to do a little translation here. Let's try and get a little hold on ourselves. Canadian dollars to American dollars. It's ridiculous that I that meal cost me more than a nice meal at these other places, you know? Yeah. That's, it is that's, crazy. That's what, that's, what freaking, that's what triggered me in this case, you know? That's triggered! Yeah. I did the whole so I don't want to you know, make it's... eating at restaurants a habit, but I'm well, just not? A, you know, that's, that's one thing that I really like about Canada is we've got a lot of people from a lot of places, you know, and they open all these restaurants. you got got, like, a Jamaican place that I want to try, and well, I mean, there's obviously like 10 billion Chinese places, and you, you never know which one to go to, you know? You just go to wherever. You just hit and yeah. hope when it comes to Chinese. Same with like Indian restaurants. There was a scandal. There was a scandal that one Chinese place um, was, uh, if, like, you, they gave people water, and if they didn't drink it, they just pour it back in the Oh. In the so they got a super bad rep for that. Ooh, they had, that's they had to change their name and branding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is bad. Uh, I hope, hopefully, as well as the name change and the brand change, they also change the practice of uh, put, pouring secondhand water back into the uh, jugs. I I don't know. I don't I I don't go there, so I can't tell you what they've done. But I did want to say I'm. Uh, I've almost read all of a book. It's been so long really? since I've. Okay, I haven't completed a book since 2014. Citrus Volume eight, Seven. No, I am not counting manga because that's different. Yeah. I don't count this in <laughs> comics. I'm, I'm talking about, like, Paul Stanley's biography that came out in the second semester of grade 12. You know? I read that. Now I'm, now I'm reading other books. It's about the... This book's about the time that, that, they, that they got the Nazis out of Italy. It's not the most exciting battle you've heard in your life, but it's an okay book. Was it not the... Uh... Ethnic eth ethnicities and World War One book, <laughs> no, or was that but... just a convenient cover for your Yuri manga that you were buying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I actually want to read that. I'm actually interested in reading that, though. I didn't buy it just because I bought it because I thought I was interested in reading. I can't because I just can't shake the image of just like, oh shit, I can't walk to the counter with just this. Oh, grab this! <laughs> it's just <a> random <laughs> book in front of it. It's like, ah, yeah, yes, Mind camp. Ah, oh, enjoy this. <laughs> You, you gotta just, you know, you gotta just keep people guessing in regards yeah. like this, definitely. You could, I mean, it could work, because you could just say, I'm a man of many tastes, you know? Yeah. and No one can you judge know, you for that. It, it's like, wow, I'm reading the book, I'm actually doing it. I'm reading, I know it sounds stupid, but I, I totally get where you're coming from, because it's so well, strange because, after a while. I, because I haven't done that in forever, you know? Yeah. Like again, it's been three years since I've bothered finishing a book, you know? Yeah. No, I, I totally That was a totally book freaking Paul Stanley. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like, after a while, like, you haven't read for a few months or whatever, like, re like really read, like, a novel or, or yeah. and, you know, biography. Well, because I'm, cause it's stuff I'm interested in now. I'm more interested in learning about war history and stuff like that, so that's so why I read it. Like, um, I don't know, like actual novels and stuff i'm not too interested in yeah but stuff, stuff like that though for sure yeah no i'm with you, you know? i'm with you now again i want to apologize to france people and stuff you know france people i i, I, I diss french. them i diss them but after learning about world war one I, I feel bad for them now i don't want to i don't want to diss them too hard anymore never apologize okay so i've done some math okay and translating it from Canadian to American, and then looking at what it should be in American, and then translating back to Canadian. According to my research, he should have only paid ten seventy five. <laughs> that's how. That still the sounds pricey. It, it, how... Well, that's Canadian. Okay, ten dollars like Canadian. American, and that's probably like six pounds British. 
that's still pretty pricey for a drink and some fucking chicken shit. Not literally. It's better shit. fast food though. That's not like McDonald's is it? chicken. It is. Okay. It's better than McDonald's, I guess. I mean, I mean, I haven't had McDonald's chicken to compare. Maybe, maybe they've had to uh, up the prices to pay the social media team of Wendy's. Now they've gone full anime. Might be. Because see, now and, all you can ever think about is smug Wendy when you go to Wendy's. Now that's literally the yeah. only thing I think about, you know? God, I was fucking talking to somebody about smug Wendy, and I don't know who it was. I mean, I like smug Wendy. I'm a fan of was it. it so, was I'm... it the drug dealer when you were drunk? It wasn't the drug dealer. No, it was like <laughs> someone, I, at, like, not at work, but like someone I knew through work. I think it might have been one of our reps. Somehow it came up. Oh, I'm a fan of smug Wendy. Yeah, I like it. I think it's quite funny. Um, the Wendy social media team. I wish everyone got on that bandwagon. Speaking of social media, um, have you seen the Twitter meltdown of Andrew Tate against um, <laughs> against anime fans? He. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. That was funny. Yeah, it is amazing. I went from going, "This guy's a fucking lunatic," to, "I get it. I love it. I absolutely love it." Did you yeah, see that was, the tweet? Funny. He went from hating on anime fans to, uh, <laughs> I just love one where someone put, if my waifu wasn't real, why is she on my bed? A really poorly <laughs> photoshopped version of it sitting down. Checkmate, yeah. Tate. <laughs> like, and then he started, he, he did that tweet of post your waifu and I'll, um, and I'll show you the real life version or something, like saying he oh. can get the real version. What a guy. Fucking legend. Why oh, are you yeah. so why are you so vehemently against anime fans? I don't know what sparked it all. Maybe it was just the backlash he got from his original tweet saying uh something about anyone who watches cartoons is a loser over the age of yeah, twelve something or like something. That. Um but yeah, no, I just 15. loved all that. Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, yeah. That's fifteen must I mean, be he says that, but like there's some very successful anime nerds. Well, there was one of like, the, like Leonardo Samuel DiCaprio and... fucking loves anime. And are you going to hate on Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah. Are you going to hate on Samuel I would Jackson? have survived in Titanic, you Sam bitch. Jackson. Vin Diesel's the biggest nerd on the planet. He made a whole movie about his D&D character, for Christ's sakes. Did he? Mm-hmm. His, oh. like, Witch Hunter movie? You remember that? I don't. I was going to say Blade. I don't know. Blade? <laughs> Blade's uh, a D&D character? Diesel. Wow. I want to find it. Which one wait a second. It? Wait, wait. You said Vin Diesel. I've just, I've just been thinking of um, Wesley Snipes for some reason. I oh, don't know why. Same I don't know how Vin I got them movies, confused. The last Winch, Witch Hunter was based on his D and D character. Wow. Like, even, That's the main character cool. even has the same name as his D and D character. I might actually watch that now. I'm, Let's... I'm a fan of that. There's um. What's his face? There's a UFC fighter who's a massive anime nerd. It's um, Ben Nguyen. I think he... He comes down... Did he come down to One Punch Man? He come down to some anime theme music anyway, but he was, like, saying to that Andrew takes he's ranked higher than him, so... That was quite funny. But speaking of... Uh, a I mean, we the New Day. New Day? Yeah, dressing as Super Saiyans. They were awesome. I love the New Day. Still yeah, good. They're fantastic. They're really Biggie, fun. Biggie and me have a... Um, bit of a soul bond because he also has dolphin hips me and him you know <laughs> oh. that it's great we... everyone one of the youtube channels i follow always uh interviews the new day when a new wrestling game comes out mm. i look oh they're really good yeah xavier wood's funny as well well they're all funny they're all just funny n nerds basically that's their character but it's them in real life so that's why it works but uh pardon me i wanted to say Andrew Tate bashed a lot of anime fans and rubbed people up the wrong way. But he's an outsider of... He, he doesn't follow anime, you know. How about dissing your own, like, anime fans if you were a director of anime? Did anyone hear about uh, Yutaka Yamamoto, an anime director, studio director, who <laughs> went on a rant and said people who watch anime past an appropriate age are clearly disabled. <laughs> yeah, but a, a lot of those directors hate the viewers anyways in otaku culture. He totally, yeah, and then he went on to apologize and said it was unfair of him to, <laughs> it was unfair of him to compare disabled people with otakus. Yeah, it is. Although, no, look, it's, it's true. It's completely <laughs> fair to hate otakus. I hate otakus. 
I mean, <laughs> I think I don't know. I think in I like, don't quote me on this, but I feel like in Japan there's a bit more of a uh, black and white narrative between like otaku's and like normal people. Mm-hmm. Not that there isn't over here, but like I feel. At least from my our perspective, yeah, but they're just as, weebs like over normal here. people who like anime. Yeah, weebs. We call them weebs. Like, yeah, normal people who like anime. Where we are basically, like you know, we have jobs. We're upstanding citizens. We don't have bedrooms filled with posters and you know figures, and we're not spending our rent money on them. <laughs> well, I have <laughs> figures in my room. I, I was just two, like steady. I, I, my room is flanked by two Love Live posters. <laughs> yes, there, there are figures in the, pro, you, the you parameters. The, I'm not. I'm not talking about you. You know. I'm talking about the people who are like it's nothing but that. Yeah, I know what you mean. You know. Yeah, the it's the it's the thing we go back to. I think we've mentioned it before, where it's the the one dimensional personality, and it's like my entire life revolves around this one tiny interest and aspect. Mm-hmm. Even in that case, I don't care because, you know, people like that, like, whatever, that's the thing they like. But when people do that, you're doing yourself a disservice because it's not just, like, you liking one thing isn't well, what makes you you. It's all your experiences, well, your friends. people you know. like stuff like that, though, because they feel like it gives them a thing as a I person. guess. I guess. But... Yeah, but I feel like you shouldn't do that. Like, you shouldn't general, sacrifice like, you everything You can have else. lots of things that, like, give you purpose. Yeah, it's fine. But, like, you I, shouldn't divine yeah. it, d- d- yeah. especially solely on anime. Not well, a good I, way to I go. Know what you, I know what you mean, but, again, I think this is a person-to-person thing, really. You know, Guy I who directed Wake Up Girls, he did. Which, Wake as far as I'm aware, isn't that, like, uh, that's an Wake idol show, isn't girls. it? Yeah, it's, it's a shitty idol show. It's a really shitty idol show, which is really otaku. Like, that's one of those things that's marketed like, towards those people. It, like I said, over here, you'll see there's more girls that like the idol shows that are vocal about it, but it's yeah. the complete opposite over there. Yeah, exactly. it's all the um, creepy guys who are there. Yeah. I'm sure there's some normal, like, I'm not saying every single guy no. who likes them, but that that uh, stereotype exists the for a reason. The stereotypical creepy guy who will stab his favorite idol. Yeah, yeah, yeah that kind of weird up. shit. But I think the moral of the story is who really gives a fuck what Andrew Tate thinks? Well, naturally. he's a kickboxer for Christ's sakes. Hey, he's more relevant now than ever. He's no, done himself. Yeah, not saying a lot. And again, I diss sports people who sit in their cave and talk about their team while they're just yeah. sitting on the couch all the time. Exactly. It's it's one of them. I think, as we said, it's you can get obsessed on. Gotta anything, have that but... man cave with all my team merch on the wall. Yeah, it's like you can get obsessed with anything, but. Don't yeah. like, don't get too obsessed with because it's like people who are obsessed with exercising and like to go to gym every day, they go multiple classes, and it's the only thing they can talk about is healthy eating and exercising. And it's like, well, maybe do you have any other conversation? Nope. Okay. I do well, this is going to be fun. We know. Yeah, I, I think that's that, that's really what I'm getting at. Is just don't get obsessed with any one particular thing and let it define your entire life. Exactly. It's fine if that's the only thing you're really into, but once it like starts creeping the other way, that's not good. Yeah, I, we spend a lot of time on anime and and manga and writing and stuff, but I wouldn't say we're obsessed with it. Um, okay. we have a lot of different things. I mean, to be honest, well, if you take the show, as anything... who comes on this show has other interests. Yeah. Find anyway, me another it's... twenty-one-year-old who knows as much about Kiss as I do. I dare you. If you're listening to this and you know more about Kiss than Manimal does, please get in touch with us. We'll but you have, have a, to be. You have we'll have a be, kiss off. You you have to be Take under that 22. as you will. Take it. Well, no. <laughs> no, it's gonna be a kiss off. Well, no. When Kiss first started the first album, they had a kiss off where they'd see like who could kiss the oh. longest without a break. Like that was the thing they did to promote their first album. Kiss. Like, are you volunteering? No. I mean, if you've heard about my dolphin hips, wait till you see my dolphin wanna... lips. Uh, oh, 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 that's a good one. They're gray, slimy, and two and a half feet long. Oh, and yeah. Have pretty big lips. I don't what know you guys you do. don't know is that he is actually like a BoJack Horseman character, but he's a dolphin version of that. <laughs> dolphins, you know, dolphins don't have... Uh, the most attractive mouths in the world. 
Go, listen, the dolphin tail. Damn, yeah. Whoa, yeah. those sexy dolphin mouths. I can't get enough of them. I really wish that there was a, a dolphin version of Pipomo. Which animal has the uh, sexiest mouth, Manimal, then, your opinion? Um, that would probably have to be the gorilla. <laughs> yeah, Harambe was a damn sexy son of a bitch. Rest in what? peace. God bless. Yeah. I can't believe I bought Harambe up in 2017, but there you go. Think about think about gorillas. They're vegan bodybuilders. <laughs> they are actually. They're yeah, big they dudes. Have vegan be... bodybuilders? No, they. I think they. No, the I, I don't know for sure. I, I don't think? know for sure. I feel but... like all apes are carnivores, or not carnivores, but omnivores. Have you I, ever I seen Donkey they, Kong they eat, eat, like, eat blueberries and stuff like that? I, I don't know for sure. Donkey don't, Kong ate ever. I'm not, a, I'm not an no ape meat. enthusiast. I mean. Like anything will eat like anything. Does yeah, that seem? Like, like, I saw like a video once movements. where a deer ate a bird. For Christ's sakes! <laughs> oh, we it, need if to you um, need it. You'll eat it. Yeah, I course. think. I think what, what we're getting into is monster monster territory and monster girl territory. <laughs> so we really need to ask Nair his opinion because he's the uh, monster girl expert on on this. So. so Apparently, hold on, the translation for Western Lowland Gorilla into its scientific name is Gorilla Gorilla Gorilla. I, I'm a fan of that. Don't say that in the mirror, the Lapia. You say it three times. Anyway, it says this. Where's diet Castro? Is, its diet is 3% <laughs> termites and caterpillars, so not vegan. Oh, hashtag not vegan. Some eat ants and snails. I mean, it's all very, like, little things. If I say gorilla three times, will I get... Harambe, Castro, and glue. Why glue? What? Gorilla glue. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I get it now. Gorilla warfare. Okay, that was clever. Well done. No, no, you can have that one. No. Moving on. We kind of uh, that was sort of news. The Twitter. Well, it's not really. It was just Twitter shit. It's not news. Let's Twitter go into some. Shouldn't be a source of news for anything. It is for everything now. Most things are quoted from. from... This person said a thing. Yeah, no, the news quotes it now. Thing, I should say. <clears throat> let's start with one that's been, you know. Well, let's go with a quick one. My Hero Academia has season three has been announced and it is planned. So that's season two's shocked. just ended. Season three's coming at some point. The big uh, shot. Yeah, can't believe that. Hopefully it comes back next year. Thoroughly enjoyed My Hero Academia. Want more? So that'd be really, really good. Next we have... That's all I had on that. <laughs> nice and simple <laughs> one. Um, yeah. Paramount Pictures and J.J. Abrams team up for a Hollywood adaptation of Your Name. Oh, I actually heard about that. Ooh, um, are they actually going to make that, though? Like A why? live action? I mean, yeah, they've got the studio, I mean, they've got your the director. Name, your name has distinctly Japanese elements mm -hmm. to it, though. They'd be removing a whole lot it of does. stuff from that. <laughs> like, question, I don't know. No, as someone who hasn't seen Your Name, what is Your Name about? Your Name is the, is the well, okay, in the basic sense is that a, a guy and a girl switch bodies randomly all the time. So they eventually try to figure out what's going on. So, you know, they leave notes and try to communicate to each other. Like, uh, we're switching bodies. And they just try to, like, adapt and live like that, you know? Interesting. I feel like uh, that's the if basic it was concept. the 90s, this would just end up being, like, a Freaky Friday ripoff. It's, it's not, but... though. It's, your name is <laughs> – there's issues with the film, but it's pretty good. It's, that's what I'm saying. If, 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 if it, it was starts the 90s. as Freaky Friday, and the twist is it's also Frequency. I see. I if you've seen, seen frequency. frequency, no, I've you never should. Have. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, there's some weird stuff with drinking saliva that I don't think would be in the live action version. Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of crazy spit, sake. Yeah, that, a... that, that was disgusting. I almost vomited over that. Not really, but I mean, I told I you about my saliva. Well, yeah. Someone on Twitter made a collection of Japanese people reacting to the news, and I'm trying to find it now. Because it was a bunch of Japanese people going, okay, so obviously it's going to be a black girl in New Orleans and a <laughs> white guy in New York. And <laughs> just they were just talking shit on this thing. Yeah. I don't think anyone who heard this news went, oh, good. I, well, I mean, it just it no seems reason. like an odd property to pick up. Well, yeah. Well, it was popular. So new. Yeah. New it's new. Phenomenon. It's not super well known. It, course, it was I really I kind popular. I felt the same thing about, um, God, what did they end up calling it? Edge of Tomorrow. 
Yeah. Well, I guess the point of something like that is to take a source material that not a ton of people are going to know. Yeah. I mean, Edge of Tomorrow, don't good... get me wrong, was fantastic. I love that Your movie. Name is a great movie, but this preys on American audiences and their inability to read captions or watch cartoons. <laughs> yeah. Cause, so uh... if you've ever seen uh, comparing Let the Right One In to Let Me In, which is the same movie but English, yeah. it's that. People don't like to read or watch lip flaps. Bad I mean, dub. I like J.J. Abrams, so, you know, that could be good. <laughs> I don't oh, think it would thing. be good. Lens flares. Lens flares. <laughs> it's I, just the meteor, but lens flares. There's a lot of chances infinity. for lens flares in that film. Yeah, um, I like it. Is. Although, I don't know. I mean, it might not be all lens flary, because if we remember Star Wars Episode Seven, it wasn't really lens flary. Yeah. Yes. Uh, like but this he, one has he cannot comment and... do lens flares. It's his. It's his plan is within his character. There were a lot of cool directorial choices in that movie, actually. But... There is a lot of comets. Well, there is a comet in this one, at least. So there's going to be like an opportunity to do a lens flare. Yeah, um, but I I think like again, I'll believe it when I see it. That's what I said about Ghosts in the Shell and Death Note. That's what I'm still saying about Akira. I'll believe yeah. it when I see it. I mean, to be I fair, think... Death Note originally wasn't a Netflix movie. It was with yeah. Warner Brothers and yeah. so many people attached. I, I still hold... I haven't watched uh, Ghost in the Shell yet. It's sitting on my shelf. I bought it a couple weeks ago, but I haven't gotten around to watching it yet. Mm -hmm. but, okay. Well, you know, like I, I said, I enjoyed the film. Apparently, but... uh, apparently Paramount and Bad Robot, J.J. Uh, Abrams' company, will will work with Toho. Um, who produced the original, so at least they're going to be working with the original crew. Oh, it's going to start another thing with the casting. Maybe. No, I don't want that. I don't want that bullshit. Please what, don't the make white, this movie. The, the complaints of whitewashing yeah, and stuff? Please, please don't make this movie. Oh, that's going to happen. You know that's absolutely going to happen. Whitewashing is going to happen. But like, I mean, unless they actually get Asians. That would I, be a again, place. it's an adaptation. That's the point. Well, it's I a know. Hollywood. It's a Hollywood remake anyway, so they're going to probably set it in America. That's like, that's like I want the Japanese Dukes of Hazard so bad. The Japanese Dukes of Hazard? Yeah, that would be fun. Is that a thing? Yeah, because it's the same thing. It's something that's super American. Yeah, so going into if they just it, did it it's, their way. it's like the same. I always bring it, think of a uh, Spider Man. Sometimes <laughs> adaptation is a wonderful thing, and we shouldn't just bullshit on it because it's an adaptation. If you take the story that's set in Japan originally and then set in America, just because you change the characters to be Americans, yeah, it's not point. a bad thing. And that's it wouldn't make point. sense that's if you make, take a yeah. Japanese story set in America and all of a sudden everyone's, you know, ever, you know, like a Japanese. Unless you, I really like hope they do. South, unless specifically set it in a place that would make sense, like I don't know, San Francisco would probably have a large Japanese population. You know, they could do it up here in Winnipeg and Vancouver too. <laughs> I really hope that they do, and J.J. J. Abrams is really a weeaboo, and you get, like, American actors, but they're all saying, oh, like, well, sensei be and senpai I mean, and all uh, that kind of stuff. Michael Bay's a big weeaboo. We know that. Yeah. Because <laughs> I remember it was on one of the Transformers, like, DVD commentaries. He was, like, watching one of the fights. He was like, I kept telling people this needed to be more anime. Oh, God. So just zoom the camera in so you can't follow shit. That's, that'll work. <laughs> Um, oh yeah. but again, but, I'll I'll believe this when I see a yeah. trailer. I imagine it's many years away. Well, not many, but a few years away at least. If they wait uh, many years, the the sensation quote will be over. Yeah, no, it will just be renewed. It's gonna be right. a couple years at least. It's gonna be two say, three years, surely. It's gonna take time to make a movie, even if it's a simple thing. Yeah, yeah they've only just course. signed on. Like they've got to write. I know, obviously, you've got an existing framework to build off, but. Uh, you know, casting, direct, you know, casting. Uh, the script's gonna be written, rewritten entirely. Yeah, yeah and, that kind of thing. You know, I mean, and then principal name, photography. I think, uh, I think, like your name as it is, is the kind of thing you could like watch with your mom. Maybe. Well, I mean, there's like the boob grabbing scene, but that's nothing. Yeah, that you was know. a weird movie to watch on an airplane, right? As the stewardess was coming by. Oh. That was a oh. Fun, that was fun. Well, that one scene. Otherwise, I was like, I wonder what my mom would think of this movie. <laughs> you know? You should you should find out. Go find Andrew, it now. 
Hunt so her down. Now we gotta find out if they're gonna keep the boob grabbing scene in the American version. Oh, I want it to be. I really want it to be like, um, beat for beat, and just do it like I say. I'd love to have oh. them like being backer. You're you're yeah. a backer. I oh, I'm just really terrible like dialogue. Translated anime Hollywood movie. Oh, oh god, yeah. It's not like I like you. I'm movie. just a typical Kentucky shrine maiden. <laughs> Bitten my rice mixture to let it ferment. Who can forget <laughs> the Kentucky shrine maidens? I wish I could go to a cafe in the city of Tokyo. <laughs> I mean, New York. <laughs> I, can't ever forget. I mean, it's just I gonna mean. be like, ah, oh, my father's the priest here. Oh god, they could, they would totally do something. Oh my god, are you saying that he's a southern priest <laughs> who's also a weeaboo? <laughs> I said, go on. That's what they're gonna do. Okay, my daughter it. is inhabited. A man is inside my daughter, and not in the way that you think. That'll be the plot. Oh, if they do that, I'd love it. I, JJ I Abrams, I'm more open. And more. I'm open for uh, for casting. I'm available if you want me to play the uh, Neko Mimi Pasta in the new adaptation of your name. Yeah, da, da, da. yeah. Some of the there's a guy translating Japanese reactions. Um, ba, ba, ba. Mitsuha's dad is going to sacrifice his life to stop the meteor while an Aerosmith song plays in the background. <laughs> uh, a black country girl and a white Harvard student will swap bodies when the meteor falls. The Avengers and Transformers appear to save them. <laughs> Even though Transformers are there. Uh, oh, and this links into another thing I didn't know if you had mentioned, but does this mean we can have Kimono Friends to j done by J.J. Abrams too? Oh, please. That would be amazing. I, I like the I do like the one that suggests they re replace uh, grandma with a Native American medicine woman. So instead of sake, they all do peyote together. Ah, <laughs> oh, that'd be quite cool, actually. I want Which, Zack Schneider to do the kimono friends. Home, peyote is a hallucinogenic. Yeah, can we just have um, weeaboos on mushrooms? That's what I want as a film. Yeah, that'd be. You know, when you think about it, there's a lot oh, of funny the new possibilities for this idea. There is. We should get right in the script on these. I think we should I'm approach more enthusiastic someone. Enthusiastic about this. <laughs> I like that picture that you linked as well, where it's just JJ original versus JJ Abrams version, big lens flare. Just that's the only addition. Yeah. Again, I I got uh, the trailer first before anything, and then yeah. yeah. Well, we'll we'll report on it when it comes when it comes when we see it. I just, You'll I, hear it here I, first. I know there's going to be the same cycle of stuff that there was with the other things. Then I just oh yeah, I dread. Of course, that. it happens. It just one of them things. Yeah, it's inevitable. And then people forget about it and stop caring. Exactly. They just say people like to get up in arms about something in the moment, and then they move on. I do like the picture. Actually, I don't know if this is really directly to it, but I assume the Japanese translates to something of Americans got to do it bigger and better, and it's the picture from Star Wars Episode Seven where like five planets explode at once. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's what Episode Eight's going to be, or Episode Nine, because the it, Star Wars Episode Nine is your name. Tangentially related news: Did you hear they fired the director for Episode Nine, and JJ yeah. Abrams is going to do it again? Oh, is he? Really. Is he really? And so, well, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, because I think the director they I had for Nine was kind of fucking terrible for it. I'll be honest, I've never heard, like, what was his name? I, I'd never heard of him before. I can't remember what he'd done. I, nothing good. Okay. It seems like, it seems like, well, just from the news, things haven't been doing too good for these Star Wars films that are up and coming. No. What's happening with the Han Solo one? It was Colin Trevorrow. It's Never almost like they're it. making them too quickly or something. Okay, yeah. It was you the guy think? Who directed the Jurassic World. Oh. Uh, it's almost okay. like yeah. making a movie every year is not good or something. I know. Yeah, he did Jurassic who World. Who the funk? And, uh. Well, Safety Not Guaranteed was fun. Eh. Never seen Book it. Book of Henry not... was not good. No. It just doesn't feel like he should have been directing Star Wars in the first place. Uh, well, I, we'll like, I, I still enjoyed episode 7 enough me, me so too. I, I'm fine if Abrams does again but again that's a long time until 9 comes out so we might switch directors we gotta focus on yeah. 8 for now yeah we gotta still on, which hasn't been real quiet which 8 is coming out in 2 months 
It's real quiet about oh it. God. This is what they I are. don't like. They're holding a lot. I mean, they're holding a lot back, but I think it's good. Ultimately, that's good, I don't, yeah, I don't prefer it when they don't anymore. share details. Yeah. There's less to avoid then. But that's true. That, wait, that, I just had a moment. That's like two months and a little more until that comes out. Yeah, yeah when December. you were saying oh that's God. that's insane. Fifth, is it fifteenth or seventeenth of December? A, uh, or nineteenth? Don't matter. It's going to be different for all of us. Isn't December fifteenth. <laughs> they have yeah. a bitch and tr- fucking poster though. I'm looking forward to it, and then we'll do our uh, Star Wars episode, as we do each year. Yeah. Christmas. Mm-hmm. 12 Days of Christmas. So we'll look yeah. forward to that. I but... can't I can't get wait to get a loose Skywalker, like, master figure, and I can put him next to my Obi-Wan Kenobi one from the 90s. Oh, I know. Because oh, they cool. completely nice. switched roles. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like it. Um, yeah. Okay. Moving on. Can I do my quick news segment? Oh, yeah, sorry. Swaps? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, go for it. All right, so, I mean, you remember from this past year, Kimono Friends was one of my picks Uh, for (laughs) anime of the season based on kind of sort of Monster Girls. And then it actually blew up and made way, way, way more money than anything else. What happened to that director for being really successful, (laughs) Ned? Well, see, the thing was, the mobile game came out a couple months before the anime to build hype for it. Then it got canceled because nobody gave a shit. This was a zero money operation. I think they said the main staff was about 10 people and the director. They were paid with a single honey glazed ham and a couple 7 Eleven gift cards. And then it turns out to be the most popular thing in the whole wide world forever and always. You joke, but that's how my dad used to get paid back in the day. Really? So, oh no! There was a Seven Eleven gift cards. Where that was his bonus. Basically, was a honey glazed ham. <laughs> that seems well, like a really American thing. The uh, it, it gains popularity, makes a whole lot of money, and Katakawa, the uh, publisher, decides, "Hey, now that this is making money, we can't trust it with some nobody who made it interesting and new because we gave him no direction and just let him do what he wants." No, no, no. We're going to fire him mm. and then pick a new director and then spend money on this one. And fans are super pissed. And yeah. voice actresses who have really only worked on this show because they got the bottom of the barrel, but it worked out. Uh, they kind of got trotted out by the company and were told to say nice things about this change. And I think Katakoa stocks – dipped by about two and a half to six percent on any given day so yeah there's now all kinds of movements and twitter hashtags that are you know eclipsing anything about actual news based on kimono friends yeah it's a bit of a dick move um considering like you know not even give them a chance it's like thanks for that now uh you know fuck off good times yeah, yeah. Although he's he's recognizable, his name's out there in the industry, so hopefully there's some work waiting for him elsewhere. I was like, hopefully it, he you know gets good stuff coming from it. It's certainly a funny arc with that show, definitely. It's yeah. a good uh, reputation to have, isn't it? To be able to spin something in, spin gold from nothing. He made something out of no money, and people loved it. And I'm just saying. Guillermo del Toro did that. Why can't we have him doing a Star Wars? <sighs> Episode I, nine, holy shit. I would love to see Guillermo del Toro's Star Wars, but I guess right now he's concentrating on fucking fish people, so... Yeah. <laughs> Wait, he's doing what? an Aquaman what? movie? He made a movie called The Shape of Water, yeah. which okay. is basically based on when he saw the creature from the Black Lagoon as a child, which is a horror movie, as we recall, and thought it should have been a love story. Oh, so basically, it's about like I think it's a female scientist who fucks uh, a swamp monster. I mean, what it's else like a you bargain bin monster? version of Abe Sapien from the Hellboy movies because yeah. he also did those. <laughs> Is wow. it played by uh, what's his name? Doug Same Jones. Same guy, Doug Jones. Yeah, I I just hope so. I love Doug Jones. So does Guillermo del Toro, as he should. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what he's done recently. I, is it out yet? I'm. Or is it still coming out? It's out, but it's another one of those limited release things where, <sighs> you know, good luck finding it. Yeah, I want to see that. I really like his movies. They're all really good. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah, I like him. I can't. I'm just trying to envision. But, but um, he's doing the Aquaman movie, right? Is he? <laughs> no, he's on about fucking Batman fish. Wants people. Guillermo del Toro to do anything in Hollywood for some ungodly reason. He's. I suppose he's a a character. I guess they want yes men, don't they? I just remember that they're like... actually making an Aquaman movie. But like, yeah. He's... In the prime position to be like Peter Jackson, because Peter Jackson was just a weird foreign guy who made nothing but weird horror movies. I mean, he has been passed up in favor of Peter Jackson mm. when they were doing Peter the Jackson. Hobbit movies. Peter oh, Jackson's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I'm a I'm a big fan. Lord of the Rings is one of my favorite movies, like trilogies. He, 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 he created well he created he, King Kong. Uh, he literally created that idea. He King built King. him with his own hands. He 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 used to write diaries in school about King Kong, and then he made the movie. Back in he, 1925, he's a time traveler, you see. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Good old he, Peter Jackson making Peter, King Kong. He also Peter inadvertently Jackson. made... What? Peter Peter Jackson. Peter, Peter Jackson? Peter Jackson? That's a sandwich. Peter Peter Jackson. What? Peter I'm Jackson. Peter Jackson. M- moving like, on. Like a pizza sandwich. Peter, Peter, Peter like Jackson. Peter. Guys, we need to stop with the sandwich yeah. talk because there's some huge news that we've not mentioned. Mm. Um, there is a whole... I, I'm going to hit you with a triple threat now, like roll safe. There is a whole bevy of Sword Art Online news I'm about to unleash upon you. There's some there game is. stuff that I, I don't care about the game stuff. You know, whatever, Fatal Bullet or some shit it's called. The live-action Sword Art Online series, which I totally forgot existed has added writers and producers, which means it's still being made. Um, uh, or at least still being written. Uh, Skydance Television. Uh, let's see. So Skydance, it's, really? Apparently has Patrick Mas- Masset and John Zinman, who did... Uh, fuck knows. <laughs> apparently Terminator Genesis, according to this, but God knows. Oh, good. Uh, We're setting it up for quality. Uh, yeah, so... A live action U- U.S. version of Sword Art Online is still coming. You know what? It could work. It could work. An adaptation of Sword Art Online. I mean, that's true. Trapped in MMO, you know, it could it could work. I I, I totally see how something like that could work. In the West, the definitely. Side. They definitely actually could even improve Sword Art. I think see, so because if they wanted to save money. The way you do it is you have the live action versions being done by an American live action cast, but all the stuff inside the game just use the anime. Oh, because they're in an anime game. Well, yeah. well yeah. the main complaints of um, so easy. <laughs> the main complaints of Sword Art Online, like one of the big things, is obviously the arc where they spend time playing happy families and yeah. they have a daughter. Probably won't be part of the, of an adaptation in America. Uh, that that are they probably won't focus too much on a f- two fourteen year olds getting married and fucking, yeah, or maybe probably, not fucking. Prob- I don't know. Probably not. Well, how else did they make? Well, I guess they kind of they, they found her. They just yeah, found that, that's true. Founded. That's true. That's true. Little Yui, Yui, yeah, Yui, Yui. Shin, her name is. That's not my Yui. <laughs> that Yui Hirosawa found a way and sold out. Not like, my know. Yui. <laughs> Hashtag not my Yui. Um, also, there's going to be a spin-off of the second arc TV anime. It's apparently based off a spin-off novel. It's called Alternate Alternative Gun Gale Online. So there you go. And then finally, the big news. The big news is that Sword Art Online is coming back with a third season. Uh, Alice, Alice, Alicization, or something. I don't know. I'm guessing it's about Alice in Wonderland or something. Oh, uh, based why off the latest like, novels. Why is Alice in Wonderland always a popular theme with these things? Just because it's unique. Well, it I was guess. unique quite at the time. <laughs> I know, but I just noticed with a lot of anime stuff, there's there's a K-On song, "Girls in Wonderland," and they have like a that aesthetic for yeah. some things. There was and- Alice in Zoroku. That came out. Yeah, in there's, the there's spring. such a thing with Alice in Wonderland. It's always mm, referenced right. a lot. I think it's weird. Yeah, maybe it's just one of them strong like holdovers that have come over. 
Because you don't see yeah. too many other things like fairy tales, like Grim Brothers Grimm style yeah, things. You sure don't you know I mean? see enough Geronimo Stilton in anime. <laughs> I don't know. No, you don't. Geronimo's um, is a rat. I don't know. He's a rat, Terry. No, he's actually a rat. And there's this very sad book where his house burnt down on Christmas because he lit a candle and he left home and then his house burnt down. Is it like uh, supposed to teach kids not to leave candles unattended? Is it like a PSA or Yeah, something? it kind of was like that. It certainly scared me when I was a kid. G.I. Rat. It's the Canadian version of G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. G.I. Rat, Terry. Well, no, every time I think of G.I. Joe, I just think of that, um, them dubs that somebody's done. It's like, pork chop sandwiches! Oh, Get the chop. fuck out of here! What are you dudes doing in here? God okay. damn it! Geronimo Stilton is an Italian children's film. Wait. We know the author was born in Italy. Yeah, it's an Italian children's book series. Okay. That well, I'm read over here. Huh. Fair enough. Must have been. Bit. I kind of re- now I've googled it. Oh, I saw. I well, think see, I that's recognize why, because it, it started here in 2004. So. Right around the time when Manimal was a six-year-old child. So. I wasn't six in 2004. I was eight. <laughs> I can't believe I was far. I was not that far off. Oh damn. But yeah, uh, some I want. I wish Lego was here because I want to get his opinion on. Uh, it doesn't say when it's coming out. Geronimo Stilton definitely not Geronimo furries. Stilton. I'm on about sort of online. The latest Geronimo season. Stilton definitely instilled furries into kids' minds. Did it? Did it instill still furry into you? No, because I was just like he's just like Ratburn from Arthur. I don't know any of these things that you're talking about. Um, okay, how do we carry disappeared. on? Mm, I don't know, because you derailed, you derailed that uh, no. topic. Geronimo mm-hmm. Stilton was a rat. So, Sword Art Online live action. <laughs> no, season three. Oh, season three. Or do you three. want to talk about the live action? I don't know. There's nothing really to say there. We just said about the live action. But season three, of no shit, it's getting a third season. You know? Yeah, I think it's got like... Uh, it's got a ton of novels. I swear it's got like eight or nine. Yeah. I... I might have to double check that. Don't quote me on that because hey guys, uh, we have one of the most popular anime franchises. Well, what should we do with it? Yeah, That's I'm assuming it. it's coming out next year. Um, looks like it's got a key visual at least. So normally these are like I'm assuming that this will probably be a big one for spring or summer. If I had to guess, it'll be a big but, one for a lot of people. Hate watching it just so they have something to talk about and make videos. About. I don't know if people will. I, 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 Maybe. I guess, maybe. Of course people like, can do that. Yeah. I might, I might give it... I didn't finish... Because I watched the first... I watched a fair few of the of season two. Like the I'll first seven. Forget, before we spoke voice to voice, and I was like, hey, they're making a second season of Sword Art. You're like, you just made my day, mate. It was so brilliant. And then, yeah, no. Do you know what? Season two was good. Uh, well, the, not good. It was better than the first season because they actually had a character who had, like, something. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, with, yeah, I guess, I don't know. But... She known because she was afraid of guns and she went into oh. this game about guns, to yeah. like the virtual reality. Because she was involved in a bank robbery, she was, like, with her mum when she was young and she saw someone get shot in front of her. That traumatised her. So she went in this game to conquer her fears. She actually had a backstory. And she actually had, like, a purpose and a goal oh, no. and something. And it was like, yeah, no, this is this, this is good. And then it kind of... Hey. Kirito became a girl. And Do you know the best way to cure your fear of guns? Go into the virtual reality video game that's known for trapping people inside the virtual reality <laughs> about the guns. Yeah, that's So you a can't idea. get away. They can get away in this one, but wait, there is a wait, guy who can Kirito, really kill them. Did Kirito actually become a girl, or did he just look like one? He looked like one. I think yeah. I'm misremembering. He he got the rare avatar where you he got the girl body, but isn't actually a girl, and he had a sword. It completely undermined everything. It's like, oh, he's got to go into this new one and sort of do... No, he gets to just have his sword, and then everyone goes... Why has he got a sword? It's a gun game. And they go, oh, well, he's got maxed out sword skills. So he's, you know, basically like in Star Wars Battlefronts when you're the Jedi. That's basically what he was. 
Yeah. And yeah, that took a lot of the fun out of it. It's like, oh, okay. I mean, if one of them isn't even playing by the set rules. Exactly. It was just sort of like, oh, here's all these guys. Like, there's this cool... Because it was almost like, you know, Call of Duty style, like... um, Because that Sinon, she was like a sniper and stuff. And and when you were watching, like, her battles and the skirmish battles they had, they were pretty fun. They were pretty entertaining. Like, it's... They were tactical. There was, you know... uh, there was logic and strategy involved. Yeah, when and I think of tactical, logical, and strategy, I think of Call of Duty first. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? When you had them small maps and just sort of, you know... I know. Like, and yeah. I'm not dissing because you know I, I like to play a good Call of Duty, you know? I can't wait for World War, World War Two Call of Duty, or whatever it's called. <sighs> yeah, I already own, like, five of those. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, five of those we'll World see. War Two Call of Duties they already made? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But the new one, guy, it's on PS4. Can't yeah. wait. But, uh, yeah, May, because uh, I didn't watch the, the, I think I missed about a good, I think it was 24 episodes season two. Uh, I probably got a third of the way in, so I would need to catch up. And I kind of really didn't want to finish it after those first seven or eight that I watched. Naturally. So, yeah, no, maybe I'll give given, it a go. They're giving people more material. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, hoping for, a, you know, something really good, though. I'm hoping for a decent season, like... Uh, like an Arrow Manga Sensei 2. Oh, please. Please. Well, there's there's already Arrow Manga Sensei 2 coming out in the fall season. It's like not that called Arrow Manga Sensei, Sensei, but it, it's the same. Is, is it made much. by the same person? Uh, no, he did, he did something else. Let me see if I can find it. Uh... uh... Let me find out. I guess we'll, this will be a quick side note. Or emo. Um, emo. Is that what he did? Uh, no, that was the guy who did Iromanga Sensei, wasn't it? Who did that? Yeah. The guy who did Emoto. Oh, that. Yeah, yeah. It'd be, it's, it's one thing to remake your own property twice, it's just another thing to do it three times in a row. Fair enough. Yeah, Emoto. Oh, shit. Where was it? Yeah, Emoto but that's, say that's, Iro- that's what ACDC did for all their albums. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this like, guy... People like ACDC. I know, it's just, yeah. A sister's all you need, that's what it translates to. Oh. There we go. A sister's all you need. Does anyone else besides me remember the old rules of the internet in which one of the rules was a cat is fine too? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what he did. He did, um, the, the guy who did a sister is fine too this one that's coming out in the fall season, he did Hag and I. That's what he did. Oh, what the hell? What a, he, how do you he's go the from, light. What? I guess that makes sense, actually, given a lot There's of scenes in some, series. Yeah, I was going to say, with the little sister there. He's not a siscon, really, right? she, but she sort of has the, you know, sibling obsession. She doesn't... I don't think she loves him, but do you know what I mean? There's that kind of... No, that was okay. It was okay in that show. Well, it's played up for comedy. It was it's, okay it's in show, and, and except for the part where there were lolly pepperonis. What? What? The part where there were <laughs> lolly pepperonis on the screen. You what? 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 Hold on, I need to find. In that Are you show, on nipples? Don't Google lolly pepper they had pepperonis. Lolly pepperonis in that show. Then they had I'm like googling uh, lolly pepperonis. Don't Google lolly pepperonis. Yeah. I'm assuming uh, you I'm mean nipples. Lots of pictures of lollies and pepperoni pizza. That is not disappointing. Not really. No, it's mostly uh, yeah, it's mostly just pepperonis. Oh, I'm assuming I'm assuming pepperoni you pizza and unrelated pictures of lollies. They're not What's really, the really? They're not really related to any of these. Yes, I'm Vega. Getting there's, hungry. Vega, there was a scene where what's her name Maria runs out of the shower. Uh, and, and, yeah. Yeah, she goes into the boys' shower, and doesn't she look at no, his knob? No, she's at the guy's house. Oh, yeah, she's at the dude's house, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I, I think... Her, yeah, I remember that episode, yeah, and then they make a... They made a weird joke, like, that was, that was a thing. Well, there was, was also one the those... thing with Senna, where she got out of the shower. Oh, yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Hagenai was a strange show. I it still was. don't know if I liked it or not. I, I watched all of it, and don't know if I liked it or not. I enjoyed it when I watched it. Really like the main character. The fact that I, I well, not really. He was. I kind of liked him. He wasn't just a generic. Co- he was a better cutter. lead in a show like that for sure. Yeah, than what you would expect for like a harem show. Yeah, he was. Um, 
It was the first one of the show. Well, one of the first shows like that I saw, so I thought it was okay. But if and it had some interesting ideas. Yeah. Initially, like they kind of did like the imaginary friend thing was kind of interesting for the one second they the one episode it. that it was done for. Yeah. <laughs> the, the first ten minutes of the, of the series show is interesting, and I like how the bully gets bullied in the end with Yozura. Yeah. You know. That yeah. Was interesting enough, but. I don't know. It was a weird show, kind of. Yeah, I don't know if I'll ever rewatch it. You know, I think something like that at least has more heart than your hero, <laughs> hero, mungo man sensei. They're just, I don't know. <laughs> no. Hero Mongolian sensei. Hero Mongolian sensei is a, don't is you a remember far Genghis different show. Chan? Genghis Khan and his little oh, sister. Hey, don't you remember yeah. when Mongolian sensei take, took over Rome? Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a fun time for everyone. He did it for his sister. It's okay, which is why also <laughs> as well a with big fan of Genghis Chan with Black Clover. <laughs> that's another thing. There's just a, a character whose whole his whole character is he's a siscon, oh, and he just loves his sister. Idea for a character. I was like. Why would you just make? Because I'm like, he's one of the one of the good guys. But I'm like, and he's also he's just, one of the few characters we concentrate on. Because yeah, there's several he's, characters in Black Clover that are in like the 15 man crew that we don't know shit about, oh. like the quiet mime, dude like Gray, and yeah. the girl who transforms into stuff. Gray, Gray, the transforming girl is great. I love her because yeah. she's just super embarrassed. To be anything but herself, she ends up being this giant, grotesque monster man. Yeah. Even though she looks like a normal person, but she's like, I'm disgusting, so I'll be a monster? Yeah. He yeah. gets focused on, and it's like, I don't... I mean, you're still just weirdly obsessed with your sister. I mean, I guess, it's obviously, you know, that's a trope. Uh, you know, it's an archetype, I guess. But it's weird, because I've never really seen it in, like, a shonen anime before do you know what i mean like i've seen it in comedies and and harem shows and I all mean, that kind of stuff i feel like black cover is definitely shonen but has an infusion of comedy that's more potent than other shows tend. it's more modern because i suppose when we think back to shonen we're thinking of stuff that started 10 15 20 years so ago we're, talking, we're thinking dvz and bleach and naruto it's yeah. kind of evolved there's a lot don't more... have a you don't have a siscon and dragon ball z unless you, you count android 17 do you? <laughs> no, no you I'm joking. Didn't. No, <laughs> there isn't one. I'm joking. Um, yeah, that's sure. Sword Art Online season three. Who knows? Maybe we'll give it a chance. I'm sure we'll hear a lot about it because it'll be, it'll be popular. Yeah. Um, still praying for that Anaragari season two now. Um, they finally subbed up to episode thirteen now. We will so, be watching that. In the I gotta next watch week. seven episodes because I last one I watched was episode six. I definitely got to see this one to the end. I think we all do. I think we the only thing the is it's too late because that was a thing from last summer, you know? Like, it's like, wow, great job. Now I can finally complete my top 10, top 50, whatever anime of 2016. Top 38. <laughs> now you know <laughs> top 39 because you know it's going to be better than Konosuba when it finishes. Yeah. I want to just get to that episode where he was in like a... a Oper uh, operating theater, and he's got like oh. medical garb on, yeah, <laughs> like a surgical fun. mask. I just want to know what that is. I gotta, I gotta, because you know that was. See, it's like that. That show is like the fart cloud itself. Initially, it has impact, but then once it fades, it fades. That's true. Because I mean, you know, it... at first you're like, "Oh my god, this is what, what, what? Oh, this is so funny!" And now it's just been so long that I don't even care anymore. It left, it left an impression of us, and I think they owe us uh, some left, kind of thanks for it making. Left an impression and blew away in the wind like the flatulence rising to the clouds. <laughs> we were probably the biggest collection of people who were talking about it here in the West. So... Honestly, <laughs> I don't. We don't are the that. voice of an Arugaro in a, That's... the West actually a realistic thing like I, to say <laughs> that, yeah i like that idea because us and our small fan base because we know about it keep bringing it up 
Yeah, we're going to be sponsored by them soon. Naragari t-shirts are coming our way. Look, the um, the, the fan base may be small, but we love them anyways. The Western Outpost. For so, all it's true. not It's not the size <laughs> that matters. It's what you do with it. Mm-hmm. Size That's... matters not for my ally is the, 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 the oh gosh, shit, I couldn't, come up with say, joke. I couldn't come up with a joke quick enough. Even, even oak trees grow from acorns. That's what, that's what I tell all the ladies. By the way, I'm disappointed that Vacant hasn't translated my Skype name yet. I, yeah, what even is your, my name what is I the don't Skype care. Name? I'm not going to tell you, I have to put it into Google Translate and figure out. No, I mean, I know uh... what it is, you've been nicknamed as Manimal for me. Ugh. You have to put this in Google Translate because I, it took me a long time to get this to translate correctly. And I had to do a big compromise to get this to translate correctly in my Skype name. Okay, I'm sure it's going to be worth the payoff. And try to pronounce it first. Okay, it's vacant, comma, Sio Ulo Staita? Staita? I don't know how to pronounce the language either, man. What language is it? Is it Finnish? Figure it out. Okay, oh, well, I'm not going to. Is it going to be, well, Finnish? And it looks like it says eat feces. Huh. Vac vacant, eat feces. Oh, no, that was that was well worth that minute. That I we tried just spent on it. so hard to get it to say vacant, eat shit, but I just couldn't get it to translate properly. Is That's it what you're translating it to what? I just I was really hoping that the vacant would put it in Google Translate and figure it out, but never well, mind. yeah, what language? What language did you translate it to? Finnish. Finnish. Yeah. Okay. He's told me in Finnish to eat shit. I was trying so hard to translate it correctly. What have you been watching, guys? I don't know if we've covered that. Yeah. Uh, so new game yes, two. Sir. New game two is over, and it was an okay season. It was like seven out of ten, you know. Um. The ending was all right, what they pulled. <laughs> Yagami went to France. Is it over, over, or is the room I, first? No, season I don't know. There'll probably be a third. Well, I don't know. I didn't expect a second season, really. But like I said, the first season was pretty good. This season was just like, yeah, okay. I felt pretty passive about it in general. I hope, well, no, I won't feel that way with Love Live Sunshine, too, because it's Love Live. But. I don't know. It was all right in the end. I fin I finished it. I finished yeah. the series this season. That's more than last season, so we're all we're all right. Yeah, I was gonna say it's still managed to get to the end and enjoyed them. So well, yeah, because it's bad. But other than that, naturally, I haven't watched anything else. Fair enough. Uh, Corin. Oh. Uh see. I finished... I watched the last episode of Aho Girl. Ah, oh, yeah! Which I enjoyed. I know it was a little different since they were kept jumping back and forth to the past, but I did like... Wasn't as good as the last episode, what, it, uh, this it, episode it, 11. I, I kind of would have preferred if it was just a standard sort of thing, but like a longer... They takes a joke out longer, you know? Yeah. But, I mean, it was still good. I, I enjoyed the interactions between the child versions of the characters. And especially how uh, Akun was always hate like I haven't my feelings haven't changed for her in ten years. I still hate this bitch. I did love the the training montage, and the whole point was he literally got stronger. Yeah, just like, to kick I mean, her ass. Like the reason he's so <laughs> freaking unhumanly strong is just so he could beat the shit out of her. Yeah, <laughs> and then w the wearing the same panties as when she was five, and then being like super tight and restricting her blood flow and shit like that. <laughs> That was pretty funny. That, I like that, that. I did not expect to see that one coming. That was pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, our whole girl was good. Maybe check it out if anyone has. If you want just a funny light anime for 10 minutes, just check that out. Fuck TQ. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I know. Sorry, Manimal. I wanted to uh, get a reaction from him, but... I don't know if he's listening right now. But then I watched... Uh, I, I mentioned before... Oh, my show, mic was muted. Oh... Uh, yeah, I mentioned Never mind. I, I said things, but uh. okay. But uh, I, I mentioned before the show I watched the second. It should be the second last episode of Cronus Rulers, I believe. Yeah, and it was real fucking sad. Like, really goddamn sad. Just like unexpectedly sad. Like unexpe really, 
Because it, it is a very – it's a shonen show. It pulls all – it's like a greatest hits of shonen kind of thing, right? Like you got your secret organization with like their 13 strongest members, and you like get the evil organization that nobody – it's real mysterious. It's got the mysterious leader, and everyone's got like super specific powers, and they're outwitting each other in weird ways, that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. But like I won't – I don't want to get into like super spoiler territory. Like, you can if you want to. I, I mean, are you planning on like watching and catching up? I realistically, I, I want to, but I won't. Okay, all right. So the whole thing is, they go looking for the main character's Victor's hometown, right? Yeah. And they go into it, and they find that it's been uh, taken back in time and stuck in like a Groundhog's Day loop of a single day. Okay. By one of the main enemies, who eat time and do time manipulation shit. So uh, he has – they fight the enemy, and they get him, like, spit up all the time he's stolen away from the town. But because it's Victor's hometown, he gets to meet his mother and, like, say ah. his final goodbyes. And she, like, reveals that she realized that it was some weird time shit and that he was her son. And, like, she's dying basically again. Oh. But that's not the worst part because they do have, like, a heartfelt goodbye but then the evil time manipulation dude brings her back one more time because he's trying to experiment and understand human emotions because he's a monster. And then when Victor's like, no, we're not doing this again, he just explodes his, mom, his mom's head all oh, over shit. him. <laughs> oh. Fucked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, uh... Wasn't expecting that. I was already, like, built up emotionally, but I think that kind of broke me a little bit. Then he explodes his mom's head. Wait, it what? <laughs> explodes it. Blood and guts everywhere. I mean, it's not, like, super graphic, because it's not that kind of show, but still. Yeah, that's, you know, not what you would expect from a show in any show. Not really. But God, Cronus Rulers is good. I hope they Did have they keep up? season. Did they keep up the um like the animation style for like fight scenes and stuff? Because the first couple of episodes that I saw, I really enjoyed it. Like the the angles that they animated from, and the, like the fluid motion. Oh yeah, it's it, stuff. It's all really fluid and good. And they had a little CG at the beginning, but they really haven't used it since. Good. So yeah, it's really like good. It. It's very. It's not, like, super heavy into the fight scenes. Like, it doesn't get to, like, JoJo levels of shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but, like, you definitely have the sense of, like, oh, here's the tricks they're using. It's like, there's one guy who's fire, and he's, like, one battle, he, like, spreads gunpowder across the battlefield and explodes it all at once. <laughs> cool stuff like that. Yeah. They were cool. Yeah, if they use sparingly, like I say, the powers would probably get old, but because they use them in a... That's what I like about the shorter episodes, and the, well, the shorter series lengths, if it's just 12 episodes. They don't have to fill it with, and pad it out with all shit. Yeah, it's not padded. I mean, everyone, you know, they use their thing, and they're done, and they go on. But, like, yeah. they had cool, like, you know, enemies. There was, like, this one battle where they are fighting, like, a snake monster, <clears throat> and the enemy's like, my snake monster's power is poison and then the girl he was fighting is like actually i'm poison too so i anti-poisoned your poison and now you're dead what Just crazy shit like that because she's <laughs> okay because the monster is like a time eating monster that ate a bunch of poisonous things so it absorbed their okay. powers right yeah that makes sense we're yeah. up to there and then the girl the snake monster was fighting is the descendant of Kronos, the god. So her pa her blood is like poison to the anti time monsters. Ah, okay, now I get you because yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, supernatural yeah. or you know uh, heavenly blood. I get you. <clears throat> so it bit her, it poisoned her, but then her blood poisoned it in return. It's fucking double poisoning, bitch. Double poisoning. So yeah, it's 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 cool. Watch Cronus Rulers. I will. I mean, I I might have to catch up. Like I said, the problem is with the new season starting, I'll probably be watching all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, that's the kind of double edged sword when it comes to 
following the seasons because then you anything that falls by the wayside stays there normally. Yeah, but you always have a good couple weeks in between seasons where all the new stuff isn't quite out yet. That's true. And all the old stuff is wrapping up. Do you have a chance I've, to catch up? Yeah, I've pretty much wrapped up everything I want to watch in terms of the summer season. Uh, so, I mean, I'm on nights next week. I'm working the night shift, so I'll be pretty much alone in the office. So maybe maybe it'll be time to turn on some Crunchyroll and binge some Kronos rulers, maybe. Well, that would be a bad idea. And aside from that, I'm still watching uh, The Reflection, which is mm-hmm. real good. Like... I, I may have made the joke last time of how it's just kind of X Men, but with nine eleven instead. X Men nine eleven, <laughs> it, it kind of. But like, they did this real fuck you twist in the most recent episode, where there's the main character we've been following the whole show, and the, her name's Eleanor. She can do teleporty stuff, mm-hmm. that's her thing. But in this most recent episode, she comes face to face with the big bad, who's named Wraith. And it's never really explained what Wraith can do, but he seems to be omnipotent. Fucking turns out Wraith was her brother who died in the womb, but was like still like part of her somehow. So when she got reflected, he got reflected, got reborn as a ghost, and then he fucking ate her and became her. Okay. (laughs) Mind fucking shit, man. So a ghost fetus ate his sibling who survived yep. after nine eleven took mutants. took over her yeah and took over her body and became her except it like then transformed into what he should be like they have this real trippy scene where like all her muscles are like disjointing and growing and reforming themselves yeah. It was. W- oh, I wouldn't like to see that in that style of animation. I know you were really high on that comic book style. I tr- it just wasn't for me. I mean, that's one of the main things that was putting me off. Yeah, I, I, I like know. it, but you know, it's not everyone's cup of tea. I'm very, I'm quite narrow-minded when it comes to my animations. I think I'm not. Uh, I don't know. I'm very, I'm uninitiated. I'm, I'm poorly educated. Dragon Ball Z and Bleach. Dragon, that was an adjustment c- coming from Dragon Ball Z. Was like the muscle tone on a lot of people in uh, in other anime. I was like, hang on, how come their biceps aren't uh, s- it, completely drawn separate to the kinda, body? What's going on? Kind of what it reminded me of, like those power up scenes where they get their muscles just shift and do shit yeah. muscles don't do. That's kind of <laughs> what the scene felt like. I'm like, how come these seven year olds uh, aren't incredibly muscular? <laughs> Why well, wasn't I incredibly muscular as a seven year old? I was. I lost it all as I grew up now. Uh, of course. It just, of course. It just disappeared. I only needed it for when Sal was around in, in England. You may have heard of it. The 2012 Olympics, there was a cover-up. It wasn't a nuclear attack. It was It was Sal. I just um, uppercutted him away. God, I had a great moment this morning when I was working out, and I kind of realized that my forearms are all muscle now. Oh, uh, yeah. My forearms are all muscle. Uh, I, gotta I was going to see... make a masturbation joke, but that's just terrible. I'm kind of pissed. I got to watch a Stein holding competition on Friday night because Oktoberfest is starting to go on. But I didn't uh-huh. have a chance to get into it because we kind of walked up right as it was starting. We were on the outside of the fence from like the little fenced in beer garden they had. A Stein hold? Is it just literally they just hold beer Steins for as long as they can? Yeah, they got a big ass glass of beer and they stick their arms straight out and hold it up as far as they can. Mine lasted until like seven and a half minutes. Doesn't sound like fun. Uh, well, you got a free Stein, I think, if you lasted over, like, three minutes. Oh, okay. Maybe it's worth it, then. But then you could just wait till last orders and take your glass home. That's what I used to do. Just, like, if they, if any pub was rude and, like, if they serve you, then immediately went, right, okay, last orders, drink up, guys. It's like, well, I'll take this home with me, then. Bye. I mean... That was always fun. When they say last but, orders, don't they mean... Do they kick you out immediately after that? Well, or normally, just... when, uh, when they say last orders, it's the last drinks, and then they ring the bell, and it's done. Yeah, um, I remember. And then they should give much. you time to drink. They should give you time to drink, but sometimes the my local wouldn't. They were just like, last orders, okay, like ring the bell. And then it's like, they should give you like 20 minutes at least to drink. And then they're like, no, come on, come on, guys, drink up, let's go. Honestly, because we up. were in a pub in London together, and it was it or something like that on that last night we were all together. Oh, I, yeah. I think that they gave us time to drink because they, they did last orders. 
we were literally the only people in that pub, though, no. and it was a we small were. ass pub. It was also like so, a Sunday, so yeah, they were just grateful for the company, to be honest. <laughs> but we were also intimidating as well, and they knew who we were. They knew we clearly had just come fresh off a panel. Um, the successful hit panel at LAGC about the Manga Raiders. Uh, the uh, Happy so they Hour, must... officially London's biggest anime podcast. Yeah. I, they could be true. true. I don't know how many London-based podcasts there are. Probably not true. Um, but we'll see. Maybe anime-based. Solely anime-based. I don't know. We're the most popular anime podcast that broadcasts weekly on a Wednesday. Uh made up of people from England, Canada, and America, and Germany, and other places, Scotland. That have uh, done live shows at LAGC. Yeah, it's catchy. It's a catchy title, but it's an official one, all the same. Uh, in terms of me, the only thing I've finished, like I say, I've still got a couple episodes of My Hero Academia, because I'm on the simuldub, which is two weeks behind, so I'll have finished it in two weeks. I'm enjoying it. It should be good. Can't wait for it to wrap. Well, can't wait to see the last two episodes and wrap up. Kakigori finally finished it. Uh, it was good, and I'm going to echo the sentiments that you said, Manimal, about Sakura Quest, where it was enjoyable. I really liked watching it week to week, but I wouldn't rec like next year. I'm not going to recommend it to anyone because it's not something you binge. Really, it was just a good show to watch each week. I got my entertainment. It had that you know some excitement, some thrill in it, and it was done. So, even though it was one of my... F it was probably my favourite of the summer season overall. Um, but yeah, not one that's going to stand out in the next couple of years, I think. But I... Because it, it got an anime-only ending, apparently. Like, the, I thought that was the end, but it's, a, it's apparently an anime-only, so I might have to seek out the manga, see if that's any... You know, got anything else, or if it escalates any further. Yeah, I do kind of hate when they do that, though. Yeah, well, I didn't know. I just assumed that was the ending, and then it was only afterwards when I just saw it on like the anime Reddit thread. It was just like, oh yeah, that's an anime. You know, I mean, that's not kind of it. how I felt about the first season of Blue Exorcist, because like they ended it with, oh, oh, surely this will continue, right? Because it didn't, it didn't set up as like this is it forever, you know? Yeah, and then they just wreck on that. They, they I, it was weird like, that they went with that. I mean, does that ever happen in the manga itself? No, 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 no. The whole Satan's Gate and all that kind of stuff, Hell's Gate, that is nothing. That's just for the anime. None of that happens. It, it, um, it's weird, man. Yeah, that's why it was so weird, because like, I read the manga and then watched the anime, and I was like, what What the fuck? What is this? Wait, what, what's going on? I didn't like it, so it it naturally transitions into the Kyoto arc. Which, speaking of which, can't wait for a season three of Blue Exodus. Hopefully that gets announced. Hopefully. Not in five years' time. I I'd mean, like to see that come back. I never thought I'd see it come back anyways, you know? Not with the, yeah, with the anime only ending. But with Attack on Titan coming back in 2018, you know, that's finally now slimmed down to every year, possibly. Hopefully, Blue Exorcist will come back in even next year or the year after. I'd be happy. I mean, it'd be um, nice to have yearly installments of Shonen anime. Yeah. I'd look, yeah, hopefully. I mean, because if you're just doing 12 episodes a year, I could live with that. I mean, I ultimately prefer them week to week, but then you, you're inviting filler, and uh, it's a very sure. mixed bag when it comes to filler episodes. So, some, there's been some great filler. We've talked about it, but there's a lot of bad filler. Mm -hmm. and I wouldn't mind having, you know, like 12 episodes a year. I feel like I could manage that. I think I'd rather that than shit filler. Like, yeah. if it was like Naruto-level filler, I, no thank you. Not interested. Maybe Blue Exus could be interesting when it, if it got to filler, but I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Uh, the the filler's a lost art. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. It's it's hard to get right, and it's almost a thankless task, because no matter how good your filler is, everyone knows it's not going to have an impact on the story, so they ultimately won't care. Yeah. So I suppose and, and in that way... you have subsequent filler arcs, like in Bleach, where those little puppet people kept coming back again and again... Yeah, they just included them in the in the arcs afterwards. I think they just like shoved them in in like the background sometimes too of regular episodes. Yeah, they were in the canon episodes, like uh, the Asparta, some of the Asparta ones. Mm -hmm. uh, you had the little stuffed teddies and stuff. It's been, that, which... that was hard to tell in Bleach for a long time because, like, yeah, they'd just show up in like one-off filler episodes that 
you wouldn't know if they were any different than just randomly, let's throw in a fight scene, because we can. Because it happens in Shonen. <laughs> it's true. I like them little puppet guys. They were cool. Nova with his little teleporting thing and all that. I may have to go back and watch that bount arc and see. Speaking of filler. But to round out, what else do I need to watch? I think that's it, pretty much. Other than Princess Principal, I'll probably finish that up before the beginning of the next season. Um, at the fall. Nothing I'm too looking forward to. Like, nothing I'm like, I can't wait to see this in fall. There's just a lot of hope actions. But before I get onto the full season, just round back to what Nair said. Nair said about Maiden Abyss really needs a second season. It's really popular. I can... I would bet my house on that getting a... Se- Actually, no, I won't, because it might not. But uh, I will bet... Mm, I'll bet my dick on there being a season two of my Main in Abyss. Actually, no. I'd rather have my dick than my house. Uh, Give me something to bet. A TV, sure. I'd bet something. <laughs> you bet something. Oh. Very, very good. Uh, yeah, it just kind of ends. Made in so it's not... Yeah, no. So they're probably assuming that they're going to get season two. They have enough, like, you know, popularity at the moment that I imagine someone is listening. I and the source sure material. Hope so that's a good cartoon. I, I feel like, as you were saying, a lot of people might go to the manga and then be like, "Oh, oh, yeah, this is different. <laughs> I want more of the anime. Please clean this up." So. Who knows? That is still one that I need to check out. It's going to be one of them that everyone talks about, and it's just one that you're like, yep, yeah, no, I've not seen it. I can talk about Sabegaboo, no. If you want, no? Okay. I can't even make that joke because me and Manimal have seen it, so that's okay. There is at least someone here who knows it. But anything anything else in terms of the summer season? Oh, are we all good? Um... The first episode of Restaurant to Another World is still all I've seen, but it might be, you know, pretty good continuously. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that wraps up what we've been watching. So, before we leave you guys, as you know, we uh, enjoy a good game or challenge. Yep, we don't and... play him as much anymore, but I got one today. <gasps> oh, no. He's going to treat us to a game, so Corin, take the floor. Let us know what we are doing. So the game is a corporate slogan or anime quote. Because uh, I know a lot of people here watch anime. I know that's surprising. Uh Oh, really? Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. And as we all know, uh, the Japanese have a certain way of saying things that we in the West English speakers wouldn't necessarily say. But it makes sort of poetic sense in Japanese. Like, you know, um, let's think of a uh, good anime uh, tagline. Or not tagline, but a uh, main character sort of motto. Like, I'm going to be the king of the pirates. Or like, never stop chasing tomorrow or some shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they speak in a very poetic kind of way. And I realized, just thinking about the other day in the shower, that... A lot of corporate slogans are kind of the same way. So I have picked out a selection of corporate slogans and quotes from anime that could easily be confused, and it is your job to tell which one is which. Okay, are we all working together, or are me and Manimal I'm going to say you and Manimal are opposed, and the first one to get five (gasps) points is going to win. What do I win? Uh, Pride. What does the loser forfeit? There must be a forfeit. Um... What does are we ho- are we ho downing, ho downing, are we oh, ho downing? I'm not good. I can't at that. say it. What's wrong with me? Ho down. Are we doing a ho down? We're not doing one in eight weeks. I'm going to say since it's coming up to it, we should make the loser do something special for one of the twelve days of Christmas. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I'm down with that. Or may I propose something? The loser has to do a Halloween song for our Halloween episode. All okay. right. That's, that's fair. Halloween song. That gives you a full month to work on it. Yeah. Great, because I don't already have other... don't have my next album to be working on. Man, you put out an album every two weeks. You'll be I was going to say, you, you can put an album. You can no, put like five I've albums t- I've out taken, in a month. I've almost taken a two-week break now. I haven't made a song. 
in like two weeks. Oh, wow. All right. Well, you can make, make a song a, of the make day. Make a Halloween <laughs> album. Mm, no, oh. I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like a Halloween album. I'd get sick of it after a while. That is a market that you can tap into now. I mean, I guess so. But for me, a Halloween album is just a metal album anyway. I guess. That's fair, man. Whatever. Okay. So, yeah, you have to do some sort of song for the Halloween episode. Mm-hmm. Whoever loses. All right. So that'll be in three or four weeks or whatever. Anyway, who, yeah. Who would like to go first? I'll go. Man, I'm going to go first. All right. So this will either be an anime quote or a corporate slogan. Are you ready? Sure am. The quote is, don't be evil. <laughs> anime quote some freaking, or corporate probably some, slogan? Probably some corporate thing for some kind of brand or something that wants you to see their way. Buy my shoes or you're evil. So you're going to say corporate slogan? Yeah. He's going corporate. Vacant, what's your, what's your input on this? Just out of I would go the other way. I would say this is a, a quintessential anime saying even though well actually it's almost too dumbed down to be like i can't imagine a dramatic anime episode don't be evil <laughs> but can't you though can't you i suppose it was a fan sub maybe yeah i'm going with anime screw it i'll All stick right. i'll stick with anime own man was going with uh corporate bacon's going with anime now let's let's do this both at a time so we can get out of this quite quickly so these are your answers locked in do, 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 don't do. be evil is a corporate slogan. Knew it. Ah, I knew it. It's I knew it. Google's corporate slogan. Really? Really? It is. Nobody knows that. I thought theirs was, I'm feeling lucky. No, apparently it's How does evil. It... Don't be evil. Well, yeah, to me, that's, a, that's a quintessential corporate thing because they're like, hey, if you don't use this, you're evil. I mean, no. I think it's Google's own way of poking fun of itself because everyone's saying, oh. I hope Google doesn't turn out to be evil because they rule the world. Oh, I see. I just did. I just did my Nair impersonation there. Did you? Yeah. Could you do it again? No, because I didn't intend to do it the first time. Ah, uh, okay. I didn't even know you had a Nair impression in your mind. My Neither name did I. is Nair, and boy, I'm sure a Nair. <gasps> that was spot on. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I heard it. That I was good. That. I can't do it again though. Okay, one nil to Manimal, then. One nil to Manimal. What do we got? What's next? The next it, quote is, never stop moving forward. Definitely anime. Anime. You sure? Wait. Never stop moving forward. Yeah, it's, it's Isn't anime. Isn't that Sprint's? Anime. No, it's not Sprint's slogan, is it? Yeah, anime. Anime. It is anime. Hey! Said by Edward Elric. I knew it sounded familiar. That's, that's like a classic anime thing. You gotta uh, keep on the path of your dreams. <clears throat> that was uh, good old Full Metal. Woo! What's next? It's two one, two one to Manimal. Two one. Okay, I need Manimal. to even the score up. You gotta, Here comes you the third the penalty kick. I can do this. All right, so. And remember, this is all ad slogans and shit like that from across the time, so it might yeah. be older, so think about that. Okay. Next one is, you can't judge how beautiful gir a girl is by the way she looks. Uh... Anime. I'm going anime. That That is a pretty anime line, but I'm going to guess corporate. You're going to guess corporate? Ooh. Vacant co anime, manimal corporate, it is anime! Hey! By Usagi, Sailor Moon. Tutu. Tutu. Should have known. I thought so. I only said it because I think it sounded familiar. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say that for everyone. I think it sounds familiar, so I'm going to say this. Okay. 2-2. Two, right. two. Me... Even the score up. That one's too obvious. I'm in your head now, Manimal. I'm in your head. I've got you. Get out of there. Get out of there, you rascal. I'm going to flatten you. Are you? You rascal. <laughs> you rascal flat. You're going to flatten me? Yeah, you're a rascal flat. I don't get what that means. Rascal flats. They made that, um, they covered that obnoxious song about life being a highway. I don't know. I've never heard of them. Sorry. Sorry for my uh, 
shitty music knowledge. No, it's good if you don't know them. Oh, that's all right. All right. Next up, pleasure is the path to joy. Corporate. Hashtag yeah, corporate. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. It's corporate. telling you. It's telling you how to be joyful. That does sound like a corporate thing to me. You're saying corporate, corporate. Mm-hmm. It is corporate. It is the Hagen Dust slogan? Oh. Hey, three, three, three. Okay. I see adverts for Hagen Dust all the time. Never heard the slogan. According to the internet, it is their slogan. I won't. Mm. All right. I'm not paying too close attention to it, so. Free, free. Two away. Two away. Next quote. There are only two paths you can choose. Uh, corporate. No, anime. I, oh, I was going to go anime. You're going to go anime, anime again? Yeah. Uh, you yeah, should, yeah. It sounds like, you know, good or bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, my gut says anime, but I kind of don't want to just keep picking the same. Uh, I'll go anime. Yeah, no, I'll trust my gut on All this right. one. It is anime. That was Guy Tsunami from Guilty Crown. There it, it is. is. Hey. Four, four. Yeah, again, it's you know, two sides. You're good or evil. It's yep. pretty anime. Pretty anime. Some of these are Little easy. Guy. Some of these are hard. It's a lot what harder is... to find anime ones that sound like they should be corporate ones. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Good old guilty crown. Uh, hey guys, believe it. Anime or corporate? <laughs> <laughs> not as good as Asta's quote in Black Clover. I'm not done yet. That's oh, so inspirational. Can't I'm wait. I'm all fired up. <laughs> four four. Is this sudden death? <gasps> oh. If you tie on the next one, there will be a tiebreaker round. And we oh. Those tie breaks. Okay. Reach out and touch someone. That's corporate. Uh, it definitely sounds corporate because of the reach out and touch someone bit. Yeah. But for the sake of not going to a tiebreaker, I will say anime. For the sake of losing. You sure? Uh, d fuck it, I'm going corporate. You're going both corporate? Yeah, fuck you though. Yep. This is on. It this is shit's corporate. on. Hey! Tiebreaker round. Reach out and touch someone was AT and T's slogan yeah, for like five I, minutes before be, they realized it was creepy as shit. <laughs> no, that's that's uh, Michael Jackson, Human Nature, reaching out, touch a stranger. <laughs> I touched a stranger the other day. No, it's not in a context like that. It's a freaking <laughs> beautiful song. Human I'm Nature sorry. is one of my top ten songs of all time. Why don't you go touch a stranger? Michael, actually, Michael didn't write the lyrics to that song. Anyways, next one. This is the tiebreaker. It's five all. <laughs> yeah. All right. I gotta find a good one. Okay. <clears throat> so if it if you both lose the tiebreaker, you gotta use both of you have to make songs. I want you okay. to do that. Fair enough. So I'm I'm down. I'm down. Okay. So last one. When you give up, the game ends. Anime. 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 Oh, you fucker. Yeah. No, um, corporate. Fuck it. Manimal anime, vacant corporate. When you give up, the game ends. No, it's corporate. <laughs> you said oh, you can't change. Are you supposed to say corporate now? Yep. Okay. It is. Drumroll, please. Anime! Uh, oh! It was said by Mitsuoshi Anzai in Slam Dunk. I don't know, it sounds like deodorant or something, like kind of, or like friggin' Nike or whatever. Yeah. It kind of does. I thought it'd be something from like Kuroko in a basket or something. So, oh. I was going to use that one, or I was going to say get in or get out. Do you know what get in and get out was? Uh, Corporate? <laughs> I don't know what it's from. <laughs> <laughs> Out of five? What is oh, it? No. Get in, get out was the Nintendo 64's slogan. That is a really? Get really? in, N, capital N, which is pronounced the same. That's a, that's a bad slogan. Yeah, that doesn't really conjure up, 
you know, I was a fun. I mean, it, it, I its logo was like an N, like a quadra. I get it. All right. Well, you both lost the tiebreaker round, so I look forward to Oh, shit. <laughs> well, shit. We're both <laughs> singing. Shall we work together? Uh, we could do that. Could do I that, am going to lay. Hey, Vacant. Um, yeah. Um, I think all the times that I've asked you if you want to do something for my albums and you oh, haven't done them. Not think of all the times I have. Once. Yeah, once, you've only asked me like twice. three times. Look, if, okay. if you... We'll make an extra rule here. If you don't manage to make a Halloween song, you'll have to do a double secret uh, punishment game. Oh, there will be a Halloween song. But I want Vacant to make his own. Okay, I'll make uh, the the most hardcore rap that you're going to hear this side of 2017 is you coming gotta your way. you got to do it over something a little spooky. It has yeah. to be like spookily themed. It can't just be a song that you put out on Halloween. Literally, the only thing I'm going to do is uh, I'll just steal the Dead Island song, that Who Do You Voodoo, and oh, just steal that beat. I know what I'm gonna Can do. you just remake last week's Spicy Chicken Wing rap? But replace it with chicken spooky wing. chicken wings. It's all out of shit. <laughs> hey, spicy chicken wing is my idea. Only I can do that. Ooh, head into the quiet restaurant at midnight. Spooky chicken wings. Uh, uh. I like that, actually. Hey, I know what I'm going to do. Dyer's Halloween. There. <laughs> Let's make it about Dyer. Can we get a vote? Yeah, you guys have to judge on the Halloween episode. Say, there, of course there will be a judgment. Yeah. Beforehand, it was just going to be like what we played at the ending, but now there's going to be a contest. Yeah, I like it. Well, Vacant, you, you got to work extra hard here. <laughs> no, no. I'm at a disadvantage. Not really. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't mean you can't come up with a, a better idea than me. Just because I have more elements doesn't mean I'll have a better idea. I mean, when it comes to making music, you actually are able to sing and able to play instruments. So you you have to do sing as well as Manimal can. You can't play guitar as well as he can, but you could probably sing as well as he can. Nothing you have two Manimal, distinct but, you know two distinct elements that I don't at the moment, so uh you know. We'll see. It's okay because I have got that grimy, gritty, roll safe rap that's coming. You know, UK rap. Man's not hot. Man's not hot. I said take off his jacket. Man's not hot. Unless I might just emulate all the rappers that I know so I can do like Mr. Worldwide, like Pitbull for a bit because Pitbull sounds kind of scary. Pitbull is. Yo, I'm going to a haunted house. What about Fat Man Scoop? (laughs) Fat Man Scoop! (laughs) Ghostly (laughs) Clan! We'll do that again. What? I've just done it. That wasn't supposed to be that funny. <laughs> Sorry. We do that again. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You gotta keep the audience wanting more. I'm, I'll, I'll say this: if you manage to do an all scat Halloween song, oh, I will wait. send you five dollars in the mail. Wait, I'm not over that yet. <laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't even funny. Did you not appreciate? It was funny. You the don't appreciate scoop. my fat man scoop. <laughs> How can you not love the fat man scoop? You know. No. Please, fellas, <laughs> if you got ten to be... Oh, what is it? Because your mic clicked. Your mic's breaking oh, did it. that. Is it? it oh, is. sorry. It's, t- it's too oh. hardcore. That's not supposed to be... <laughs> Fat Man Scoop! Fat Man Scoop! Anyway. It's not supposed to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Oh, this was a fun episode. I good. enjoyed today. <laughs> you, you, this is a rare form of the animal. <laughs> this, 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 where, where I know something's not funny. But... We've broken animal, which is as good a time as any to uh, head on out of this episode and into 109. Because, as a remember, we're recording these all back to back. So I think you just come out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Rule number one of living on the streets and being gangster: you've got to be ready with a fat man scoop impression like that. This is like so much, like louder and more violent than what you were doing previously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. Right. Nice. Right, any more parting shots from you guys before we head off into the distance? I'm going to have to take one to your, to your fat man scoop. Oh, oh don't, I'm, don't I'm take, take one to my a, scoop. A, a parting shot for the once, actually. 
Oh, at my brother, who sent <gasps> me his live reaction to the episode of Neo Yokio, where they reveal that the robot is actually piloted by a tiny person. <laughs> Did he enjoy? It? Was it good? He he's on YouTube. He's very much enjoying Neo Yokio. Neo Yokio is. Uh... I haven't watched anymore. <laughs> I, I have watched up. I've watched up to about like episode four or five, and I'm. It definitely has lost some of its absurdist nature, but I'm still enjoying it. I yeah. think having a little time between episodes really helps. Yeah, rather than binging it. Yeah, I think it's much better to watch like an episode, maybe a day or two. That does sound good. I don't think I could binge the entirety of Neo. Like no, you need just something you gotta like let that. It settle. Yeah, you need a rest between. Absolutely. I couldn't do that. But um, yeah, that's that's episode 108, guys. Thank you ever so much for listening. Uh, we will be back next week. I won't. I won't be here, but these guys will be. And hopefully with some Wait, first no. impressions of the... F- what? <laughs> no. What? Gonna... I won't be here for a week. You won't be here? No, I'm working nights until next week. This is the first we've heard about it. Oh. Well, oh, uh, wow, surprise! Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I will be uh, doing 4 p.m. till 4 a.m. from unless we rec- we could record on Tuesday if you want to record Tuesday night we can, um, or we could record Friday night. Not Friday. Or Not Friday. We we can go rogue and resurrect. We could resurrect the Mosby Hotel. Yeah, exactly. we're going to resurrect. That's what I'm saying. Do it about it, me. It, it's October. It's spooky. We're going to get a little resurrection going on. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. This... Vacant is going to disappear in the next episode. We're going to make him disappear for a bit. <laughs> this is what I was saying. And then you all got up in arms about it. <laughs> oh, shit, I dropped something. <laughs> no. No, you're not going away. No. Okay, well, here's how it can work. <laughs> nah, fuck that. You are you can fuck up <laughs> for the next Shut week. Yeah, come, come back next week for the Zombie Mosby. Zombie Mosby. Zombie Mosby mm. returns. The next mm. part of the saga continues. Moby's revenge. Cool. Moby's revenge. <laughs> Take care, guys. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye. Now we get the second verse. Shit, how'd it go? Shit, what are the lyrics of the second verse again? Um, bop, bop, bop. Do you realize how great it can be? See with your own eyes. Now in the room you see how great a bop bop can be. It's big and bopping around. Bop bop it, bop and bop. It's my bop bop. Perfect.